Christian Catholic in Lamars, Iowa, instills respect and Christian values in a caring environment for students preschool through 12th grade. Teachers and staff go above and beyond to provide a high quality education and are dedicated to student success. We are a community striving to live God's word each day through academics, service opportunities, athletics, and so much more. Galen Catholic School, in partnership with Spalding Catholic School, all are welcome to experience excellence in education and leadership through Christ. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Staying healthy means enjoying life's best moments. And the best way to stay healthy is to make your routine appointments. Whether you have new symptoms or it's time for your annual exam, the providers at Floyd Valley Healthcare know and listen to you, so you'll get the care that you need. We help you stay healthy by providing preventative care, finding health concerns early, managing chronic conditions, and connecting you with specialty care close to home. Don't miss a single special moment. Make your appointment today. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Hello and welcome to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym in Lamar's, Iowa. Galen Basketball is on the air. Matt Schilling here joining you to bring you all tonight's action. Tonight the Jays take on the Knights of Unity Christian in Orange City, Iowa. A uh, tightly contested matchup it may be. The Knights, the Lady Knights are 14th in Class 2A basketball. We will be back in 60 seconds with tonight's starting lineups and national anthem. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here I think are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply visit governmentjobs.com. Welcome back to the Dev Campbell Memorial. Jim Matt Schilling here with you on tonight's call. We will momentarily be turning this one over to our courtside public address announcer.
Good evening. Welcome to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym at Galen Catholic for tonight's boy-girl varsity doubleheader. Let's extend a special welcome to our guests, the Knights from Unity Christian. Galen Catholic Schools encourage positive sportsmanship and behavior at the game tonight. By practicing good sportsmanship, you will make tonight's game one to remember. Let's give a hand for our officials for tonight's game. Scott Wilmot, Nick Nelson, and Tyler Vanderloo. The coaches of the Knights are coached by Jay Scheidman, or Scheidman John Howarda, and Sherry Bootsma. The Jays are coached by Brandon Shecker and assisted by Brian Kolbeck. The starters for the Knights, a sophomore, number two, Maya Skydeman. For the Jays, a junior, number three, Rizea Sitzman. For the Knights, a junior, number 15, Lena Stoik. For the Jays, a senior, number 10, Haley Pullen. For the Knights, a junior, number 22, Ruby Zylstra. For the Jays, a senior, number 32, Larissa Pullen. For the Knights, a junior, number 23, Jaylee Wilstra. For the Jays, a junior, number 42, Sammy Zubrod. And for the Knights, a junior, number 30, Courtney Hoffmeyer. And for the Jays, a senior, number 50, Navea Hudson. Now, if we could have everybody please stand that can, please remove your caps for the national plane of the national anthem. Senior Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There is no other charitable gift that offers you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information about MLTF at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Please consider a gift to MLTF to give the gift of Catholic education. Education. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on tonight's call. Appreciate you joining us wherever you might be here tonight. We'll get the uh, clocks figured out here. Apologize for the issue. But we will get everything in line momentarily. Shot clock in the lower right hand corner. The Game clock and scoreboard in the lower left. That is brought to you by Ag State. As we get ready to get this one underway, tip controlled by Galen. Poland quickly poked away will be Jay's basketball. J 
Jays look to inbound the basketball. Get it in, stolen away. Ahead, up the court are the Knights. Being swung around well, drive toward the baseline, almost walk with it, able to get that pivot foot out, and Avea Hodgson able to get that one stolen away, ahead to Isaiah Sitzman. Sitzman brings it up, left side of the paint, and we're gonna have a blocking foul, and that's gonna be on 15, that's gonna be on Lena Stewart. That's gonna be her first, team's first, of the first half. Inbound to Poland. Poland with a right hand, brings it backward. Quickly up, Sammy Zubrod puts up the shot, no good. Rebound by Hoffmeyer. Quickly up the floor are the Knights. Just over seven minutes to go here in the first quarter. Clock is winding down here. Hoffmeyer in the paint, puts up a right hand, no good. Gets her own rebound, no good. And Larissa Poling comes away with it, brings it up the court for the Jays. 6.44 left to go here in the first quarter. Poling dribbling around the three point line. Drive does Sitzman, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound by Woodstra. Woodstra passes ahead to Skideman. Skideman, corner, three. Zilstra, no good. Rebound by the Knights. Put up by Hoffmeyer. Hoffmeyer with the first two points of the ball game. And the Knights lead this one two to nothing. Ahead, Sitzman between the legs, dribble now with the left hand, gets a screen. Three point attempt. Misses all the iron, out of bounds will be Knights basketball. Thanks to Ag State for bringing you tonight's scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard in the lower left-hand corner, the shot clock in the lower right-hand corner. Skideman brought the ball up, right hand pushes right to Woodstra. That Aaron pass out of bounds by Woodstra. She was looking for Hoffmeyer. Throws it away. Sitzman brings the ball up the court for the Jays. Just up over the timeline with a right hand. Jays lead trail this one two to nothing. In the corner is Hodgson, near corner. Out to Haley Poland. Over to Sitzman. Sitzman spins, loses control of the ball. Picked it up, did Hodgson. Up off the back iron, no good. Rebound and ahead to Skideman. Oh, there's going to be a three-point foul there is Haley Wall, Jim Bach. Lost where her player was, went up and fouled. That's going to be her first foul, team's first foul, but it's going to send Lane, Laney Stewart to the line to shoot three, and she misses the first. First free throw missed. 5.16 left to go here in the first quarter. Jays trail by two. Second one is up and no good. Her toe must have been on the line, causing just that two-shot uh, two foul. And that one is good from Emerson Schmidt. And she, she ties the ball game up. Net tied up in the cylinder. Play stop for just a second as they get the net out. And the ball will be put back in play. Skydeman brings the ball up for the Knights. Drives right side of the paint. And foul. I think they're going to get Hodgson with that one. It's going to be a two-shot foul. It is on Hodgson. That's her first, team's second. Again, if you are just tuning in for the first time to high school basketball this year, a little bit different rules with the fouls there are five team fouls per quarter and that resets after every quarter Skydeman hits the first 
3-2 now the lead for the Knights. Second shot is up and good. As Skydeman now has two on the night as Sitzman will bring it up the floor for the Jays. Sitzman with a right hand, natural left hander. Gets it down low, Walgenbach out to, out to Hodge and she knocks that one down. Bank open late tonight, 4-4. Kicks left, drives toward the baseline. Now kicks back out, Skydeman guarded well by Halle Walgenbach. Jays giving the Knights a bit of a game here in the first. Halfway through the first, shot up by Zilstra. No good, rebound put up and in by Hoffmeyer. She now has four. 6-4. Knights with the lead. Sitzman, top of the key, passes left to Hodgson, further left to... Uh, kicked back out to Schmidt. Schmidt with the three, no good. Rebound by Zilstra. She'll bring it up the court. Passes left to Skydeman, who brings it up over the timeline. Stops at the three-point line. Keeps the dribble. Left hand. Now back to Skydeman. Skydeman top of the key. Passes left. Drives the baseline. Does Woodstra. Puts up a shot, and she is fouled by Haley Poland. That's Poland's first. It's the team's third here in the first quarter. 6-4, Knights with the lead. A couple of Knights getting ready to check in as well as 1-J. We're going to see Sammy Zubrod come into the game for the Jays as the first free throw attempt from Woodstra is up and good. 7-4 is the lead. 3.47 left to go on the first. No timeouts taken yet. Second shot is up, rattles off the front iron and down. Woodstra now with two, it's eight to four. Four point run now. Gets a screen from Zubrod. Sitzman clears out, three off the front iron, no good. Skydeman, and she bounced that one right on the baseline and it will remain Jay's basketball on this end of the floor. Larissa Poland's gonna come in for Haley Poland. 334 left to go here in this first quarter. Appreciate all of our sponsors tonight. Schuster Trucking bringing you tonight's bottom line. Bounce pass into Larissa Poland. Poland dribbles out, now passes to Sitzman, top of the key. Bounce pass low. Waldenbach puts up the shot, partially blocked. Rebound by the Knights. Bringing it ahead is Scouten. Scouten drives a wide open lane, passes it down low. Hoffmeyer puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound, fought for, come up with by Larissa Poland. Poland stops, hands off to Schmidt. Schmidt brings it up over the timeline. Over to Sitzman. Sitzman near the top of the key, dribbles left side of the paint, drives, poked away, out of bounds, will remain Jay's basket. Oh, they're going to say it is off of Schmidt, and it will be Knights basketball. <coughs> Into the ball game. For the Knights comes Zilstra and to the bench goes Hoffmeyer. 8-4 is the score. Just over three minutes left to go here in this first quarter. Skydeman brought it up over the timeline. Right hand pushes right to Scouten. Now in the corner. Bounce pass down low. Zilstra spinning. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebound. Fought for. And we're going to have an over the back by Noteboom. Emily Noteboom picks up her first. It's going to be the team's second. It was an over the back. Of course, that doesn't really exist in basketball, but it is an over-the-back type of foul. As Sitzman will bring it up over the timeline with a right hand, gets a screen from uh, Larissa Poland, drives left side, steps back out beyond the three-point line. Poland need to work, and it's going to be an over and back, a turnover by the Jays. It's 2.32 left to go here in the first. Jays doing a nice job of keeping in this ball game. Of course, the Knights have been known to be a very, very strong basketball team. Skydeman brings it up over the timeline. Left hand, now right, now pushes right, and even further right into the corner is Zilstra. Zilstra spins near the baseline, kicks out. Now top of the key is Woodstra, left to Skydeman. Skydeman, cross-court pass. Drives, paint, stops, pops, bounces off the rim, and down off the glass. First two points of the night for Zilstra, and it's a 10-4 ball game. 10-4, good buddy. Sitzman hands off to Schmidt. Schmidt tries to get it to Zubrod. Sitzman thought about a three as she caught that one that was bouncing around. Sitzman sets up the offense, a trio of Jays ready to sub into the ball game. 
Poland. Nice. Down to Walgenbach. Walgenbach. Bounce pass to Sammy Zubrod. And that one's stuffed by Zilstra. Zilstra came up well. Now there's six players at the scorer's table. Three from each team waiting to come in. Skydeman, top of the key. Passes left over to Woodstra. Woodstra further in the corner. She gets it back. Drives toward the baseline. Now kicks out. Zilstra, three. No good. Off the hands of Schmidt. And it's going to remain Knights basketball. And we're going to see six fresh bodies come in on the floor. 10-4, 1-15 left to go, good buddy. First quarter. Hello to the Kurth family watching tonight. Appreciate you tuning in to Fuller Digital Solutions and fullerdigital.net. Quick two-point. Nope, they said three. Thought it was only a two from Dykstra. Rebound fought for, picked up by Stewart. Down low, Hoffmeyer puts it up and in. Courtney Hoffmeyer now with six. It's a 12-4 lead. They're on an eight-point run, are the Knights. Sitzman with an owl with the left hand gets a screen from Hodgson. Try to do a screen roll. Back out to Hodgson. Free throw line. Kicked over to Grace uh, Kellen. Down low. Put up a shot. No good. Did Walgenbach, but she's going to go to the line to shoot two with 49.2 left to go. 12-4 is the score, and it's going to be on four. It's going to be on Summer Scout, and it's her first. It's the team's third. She's only a freshman. Walgenbach needing just a second. Not sure if she had a knee or what was, if the knee sleeve is bothering her. or She did have that knee injury here about mm, just over a year ago. First one is up off the front iron, no good. And Sammy Zubrod would come in for the shooter if she's able to make this one. Walgenbach goes back to the line for the second. Puts up the second, off the front iron, back iron, no good. And it's going to go to bounds off of Grace Kellen. Zubrod's going to come in, Walgenbach's going to go out. I got to imagine she's going to get looked at here. Possibly. As she takes a seat and Brian Kolbeck is going to take a look at her. Meanwhile, Dykstra on the floor, passes right. Over to Zilstra, down low. It's going to be off of the Knights and out of bounds. 31.8 left to go here in this first quarter. Got to imagine Drew Bickford's out here watching tonight. Appreciate everybody watching wherever you might be. Kellen with it out beyond the three-point line. Gets a screen but held on to her, held on to her pivot foot, never put it down. Was thrown off of a night and out of bounds. It will be Jay's basketball with a sideline inbound. Hodgson will be the inbounder for the Jays. 19 and a half left to go in this first quarter. Hodgson sets the offense in motion. Inbound to Zubrod. Bounce pass over to Haley Poland. Stops near the baseline. It's going to be on the floor. Up to Sammy Zubrod. Zubrod up off the backboard. No good. Rebound by Scouten. Scouten ahead. Over the timeline with six remaining. Shot, knocked down by Julia Dykstra. That's her first basket of the game, and it's a 14-4 lead at the end of the first quarter. Back in 60 seconds, you're watching Jays and Knights here on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planner Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today to learn more about our large selection of new and used planters. AgriVision Equipment, focused on your future. Reliance means being dependable. And when it comes to comfort in your home, you want Reliance from a place you can trust with a product you can count on. That's why Marcus Lumber stocks Reliance brand water heaters. Because with Reliance in the name, it's the brand you can trust. Marcus Lumber has been stocking and installing Reliance water heaters for decades. So choose the name you trust for your home. Choose Marcus Lumber and Reliance water heaters. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you tonight. Walgenbach got that knee looked at in between quarters. 
Knights lead this one by 10. Dribbling near the top of the key, poked at by Hodgson is Woodstra. Woodstra gets it down low. Hoffmeyer puts up the shot. No good. Rebound by Zubrod. Over to Sitzman. Sitzman near side Hodgson. Hodgson tries to get it down low. Gets the ball back herself. Not sure how that isn't called a kickball as Haley Poland goes up and is fouled in the air. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Of course, like I said, the the uh, fouls reset, the team fouls do, and it's the first one on Ruby Zilstra. First free throw attempt is up and no good. Second free throw attempt is up and that one lands. Haley Poland is on the board and breaks a 10-0 run by the Knights. Ahead come the Knights and Skideman into the corner, bounce pass down low, turning, now back out to Skideman. Skideman, top of the key is Zilstra, passes it around to Woodstra. Out to Stewart, back to Zilstra. Zilstra beyond the top of the arc, 10 left on the, free, on the clock, down low, Hoffmeyer in the paint, backdoor cut, no good, out of bounds, 7.01 left to go here in the second. Jays trail this one 5 to 14 in the second. Half or halftime of this game, we will be joined by men's basketball coach Eric or I'm sorry, Ryan Wilchin as Kellen has it now. Kellen to Hodgson. Hodgson drives the baseline, puts up the shot off the back iron, no good. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Hodgson goes to the line, and Hoffmeyer picks up her first foul. It's the second team foul of the second quarter. Hodgson puts up the first, rattles around and down. She now has three. 14-6 is the score. Second free throw attempt is up. All the rim, no good. Rebound by Hoffmeyer. Ahead to Stewart. Stewart over the timeline with a right hand in the right corner is Zilstra. Zilstra stops on the right side of the lane, knocks that one down. She now has four. It's 16 6 in favor of the Knights. Sitzman between the legs, dribble, directing traffic. Now passes left to Kellen. Kellen down low to Poland. It's going to be off of Poland, out of bounds, and it's going to be Knights basketball. Waljim, or I'm sorry, Schmidt's going to come in for Zubrod. Sammy giving some good minutes here tonight for the Jays. Jays now going to show a bit of a pressure defense in the backcourt. Skideman able to bring it up easily up over the timeline. Wood, Woodstra, that one's stolen away by Hodgson. Hodgson almost does the splits, gets it over to, Sit, gets it over to Sitzman, and just out of the reach of Schmidt is that pass and out of bounds. The night contingent is pretty strong over there and the uh, continued Jays nest on the far side of the court as this one's inbounded to Hoffmeyer. Back to Skideman. Skideman will bring it up over the timeline. Good little athlete, just a sophomore. Down low, Hoffmeyer, right side of the lane. It's going to be off of Sitzman. Sitzman picks it up, brings it up the floor for the Jays. Go up over the timeline, far side of the court, behind the back, into the lane, puts up the shot, no good. But it, she's going to go to the line to shoot two, and it's going to be on Jaylee Woodstra. That's going to be her first, team's third of this second quarter. First free throw attempt. From Sitzman is up, rattles off the back iron, no good. Couple of Knights sub in. Kellen goes to the bench for the Jays. Second free throw attempt from Sitzman is up, rattles around, no good. Rebound by Hoffmeyer. And it's brought up the floor by Skideman. Skideman passes left to Woodstra. Further into the corner, 
Stops in the lane, and we're going to have a jump ball. Nice job by Larissa Poland forcing that jump ball with Summer Scouting. It's going to be Jay's basketball off the possession arrow. 521 left to go here in the second quarter. It is a 16-6 ball game. Larissa Poland brought it up over the timeline between the circles. Thought about getting it to Schmidt. Well guarded. Now to now she gets it to Sitzman. On top of the logo. Now she dribbles between the circles toward the hoop. Poked away. Stolen away by Scouten. Scouten, just a freshman, able to poke it away. Ahead to Skideman. Skideman with a right hand. Bounce pass with the left. Hoffmeyer, far corner. Three. Woodstra, no good. Rebound. Rebound by Hodgson. Sitzman turns, talks to Coach Shecker, who's giving her instructions as she crosses the timeline. 4.35 left to go here in this second quarter. Spinning, Sitzman. Into the corner, Haley Poland. Poland back out to Sitzman. Sitzman with the left hand, left corner, baseline, reverse layup, was going to, and she walked with a basketball. Had a lot of thoughts in her head, didn't get the right, out, right one out before she took another step. We're going to see Hodgson go to the bench, and Zubrod come into the game. Inbounding will be Scouten for the Knights. Inbound. And ahead is Woodstra, guarded closely. Now Hoffmeyer, back to Woodstra. Three, off the iron, no good. For Hoffmeyer with it now, down low, and she is fouled. And she'll go to the line to shoot two with 4.02 left to go in the second. Foul is going to be on Emerson Schmidt. That's her first, team's first, of this second quarter. First shot is up and in for Hoffmeyer. Hoffmeyer now with seven. 17 now for the Knights. Second free throw attempt is up and in. Sitzman brings it up the floor just halfway through this second quarter. Larissa Poland, baseline, puts up a right hand at floater and in for Larissa Poland, her first two points of the night. It's 18-8, 3.45 left to go in the quarter. Skideman passes right to Note Boom. Note Boom with a left hand into the paint, puts it up, rattles around, no good. Rebound by Schmidt. Schmidt passes ahead to Sitzman. Sitzman brings it up the floor for the Jays. Between the legs dribble, tries to get over the Schmidt, and that's the second time that's happened right a little miscommunication, just a little far off the fingertips. It's going to be a turnover, and it's going to be Knights basketball. Ag State, thank you for bringing us tonight's scoreboard. Skideman over the timeline. Skideman with a right hand, puts up the three off the iron, no good. Rebound and put up and down by Ruby Zilstra. She now has six on the night. It's 20 to eight. Sitzman now top of the key, passes left to Larissa Poland. Larissa between the circles, drives near the right side of the paint, spinning near the elbow. Zubrod, and they're going to call a jump ball, and it's going to be Knights basketball. And we are going to have Schmidt and Sitzman go out. Kellen and Hodgson come into the ball game. Stewart comes in and Scouten goes out for the Knights. 2.53 left to go in this second quarter. Skideman is going to bring it up over the timeline for the Knights. Passes left to Stewart. Stewart with it now near the top of the circle. Now Skideman passes further left to Zilstra. Zilstra, 17 foot jumper, no good. Rebound and ahead to Haley Poland. Haley with it now, just inside the arc. Hodgson in the paint, puts it up off the backboard. No good. Haley Poland with the rebound. Fought for, and we're going to have a jump ball, and it's going to be Jay's basketball off the tie-up. 2.25 left to go here in the second. Jay's trail this one by 12. Larissa Poland will be the inbounder on the near side. Poland inbounds it to Hodgson. Hodgson down low. Zubrod in the paint. Needs to put it up soon. Loses possession of it. Swiped away by Poland. Zubrod comes away with it. 
over to Haley Poland. Haley steps up, three off the back iron, no good. Rebound by Woodstra. Woodstra up to Skydeman. Note boom, passes across the lane. Zilstra put up the shot, no good. Shot now by Note Boom is up and in after some sloppy ha ball handling by the Jays. 22 to 8. Knights have extended the lead. Hodgson with it beyond the three point line over to Haley Poland. Poland passes left to Larissa. Larissa Poland backs it out between the circles. Timeout called for by Brandon Checker. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with him with a minute and a half left to go here before the half. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you tonight on the call. Appreciate you joining us wherever you might be across the Northwest Iowa area, the Midwest, around the world, and in this country. Appreciate you wherever you might be joining us tonight. Larissa Poland will be the inbounder. And she stepped over the sideline on the inbound. Not exactly what Coach Shecker drew up. As inbounding the ball will be Stewart. Stewart inbounds the ball to Skydeman. 126 left to go here in the first half. Skydeman bounce pass to Hoffmeyer. Hoffmeyer to Skydeman. Skydeman got a screen from Hoffmeyer. Puts up the shot. No good. Rebound by Haley Lubin. Ahead, Sitzman. Sitzman over to Poland. Larissa Poland drives toward the paint. It's going to be off of Poland after Note Boom poked at it. 101 left to go here in the second. Skydeman will again bring the ball up for the Knights. Skydeman moves left. Bounce pass down to Hoffmeyer. Double teamed. And Haley Poland commits the foul. It's her second foul. It's the team's second of this first half. Or first quarter, or second quarter, rather. Sorry about that. Inbounding will be Stewart. Stewart, bounce pass into Hoffmeyer. Up, no good. Rebound. Hodgson over to Sitzman. Sitzman will bring it up the floor for the Jays. Sitzman backs up. Now drives in the lane. Right hand. Swiped at. And we're going to have a foul on the Knights. It's going to be the fourth team foul and they're going to call it on 15 Lanaya Stewart that's her second team's fourth it's on the floor so it is not a shooting foul late substitution in from the Knights 37.9 left Shot, sunk, and the foul. So to the line goes Sitzman. With it being 22 to 10. Sitzman will put up the shot. Knocks it down. Foul is on Scout, and that's her first. I'm sorry, it's her second. Is that shot by Hoffmeyer is off the rim? No good. Rebound by Haley Poland. Bounce pass over to Sitzman. 17 left to go here in the first half. Sitzman with it now with the left hand. Hands off to Poland. Larissa Poland bounce pass. Hodgson. Hodgson down in the paint. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Hoffmeyer. And that's the way the first half's going to end. Jays trail this one by 11, 
22-11. to 11. Back in 60 seconds to talk about it on Fuller Digital Solutions. Senior Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There is no other charitable gift that offers you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information about MLTF at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Please consider a gift to MLTF to give the gift of Catholic education. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling with you here. Halftime, 22 to 11 is the score. Jays trail this one. They trailed 14 to four after one and got outscored eight to seven here in the second to make it 22 to 11. Scoring looks like this. Skydeman has two. Dykstra has two. Noteboom has two. Zilstra with six. Woodstra with two. And Hoffmeyer with seven. For the Jays, Sitzman has two. Haley Poland has two. Emerson Schmidt with two. Larissa Poland with two. And Nevea Hodgson has three. That's what scoring looks like. We'll be back with more after this. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here at halftime of the girls game. <clears throat> a, uh, and a raffle that is going to be starting out here. I believe it is already started through the diocese. It's gonna be a vehicle raffle. <clears throat> the raffle tickets are $100 each and you can contact Amy Jungers in the Galen Development Office for more details or for more information on how to purchase one. The winner of the raffle, and this is between all 16 Catholic schools in the diocese, you are, when you purchase a raffle ticket, you are entered to win a $50,000 vehicle voucher. The winner doesn't need to be uh, on site to win. Um, you need to be an individual or a business, in, a business in the state of Iowa and must be 18 years of age or older. Winner is responsible for all taxes, fee, title, registration, license, and insurance. The raffle purchase is not a deductible purchase. <clears throat> Reminder of things going on in this area. Of course, a week from yesterday here in the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym is the Christmas concert for first through sixth graders. They will, <clears throat> they will be here doing their Christmas concert. I'm looking forward to it. I've got one left in there. A week from tonight will be the Vespers concert. It'll be over at St. Joseph's Catholic Church here in Lamar's. You can catch that here. It's free to enter 
free will donation is being taken at the door if you are interested. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you go ahead and uh, check that out. That will be at 7 o'clock in the St. Joseph's Church. Next Wednesday is a 120 early dismissal. So make sure if you are a parent of a child at Galen, make sure you get your kids. It's appreciated. Remember, Christmas break's coming up. Enjoy the Christmas break. And we hope you... Have a very Merry Christmas. Of course, you caught the band concert last night uh, on Fuller Digital Solutions. The Galen Catholic 5 through 12 uh, band concert was about an hour in length last night here in the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. They did a very nice job, especially for our first year band director, Miss Lindsay Cruz, did a great job with those kids and all of the arrangements last night. We're going to take a one-minute break and be back. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Catholic in Lamars, Iowa instills respect and Christian values in a caring environment for students preschool through 12th grade. Teachers and staff go above and beyond to provide a high quality education and are dedicated to student success. We are a community striving to live God's word each day through academics, service opportunities, athletics, and so much more. Galen Catholic School, in partnership with Spalding Catholic School, all are welcome to experience excellence in education and leadership through Christ. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Unity Christian just coming back out on the floor. About three minutes left to go in halftime. <clears throat> Galen Ball coming up this year, April 20th, Saturday, April 20th, and it will be held at the Lamar's Convention Center. Ryan and Tanya Laban are chairing this year. Looking forward to what they have to offer. This year's theme is a night in Nashville. Of course, always a great meal, great entertainment. There's a lot of student participation that happens from setting up or set the setup of the venue to cleaning up after the meal to the teardown. So I'm very much looking forward to that this year. Looking forward to see the who is going to be the entertainment this year. And of course naming rights are up for grabs as uh, for this gym, as well as many, many other silent and live auction prizes. You can contact Amy in the development office for more details. Of course, the Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation. The fundraiser is going on right now, so make sure you reach out, make that donation. You can be eligible for up to a 75% tax rebate with that. With all that being said, we are going to take a, another 60 second break and bring you the second half action. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions and fullerdigital.net. Staying healthy means enjoying life's best moments. And the best way to stay healthy is to make your routine appointments. Whether you have new symptoms or it's time for your annual exam, the providers at Floyd Valley Healthcare know and listen to you so you'll get the care that you need. We help you stay healthy by providing preventative care, finding health concerns early, managing chronic conditions, and connecting you with specialty care close to home. Don't miss a single special moment. Make your appointment today. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. 
Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on tonight's call. Appreciate you joining us wherever you might be here tonight. Knights lead this one 22 to 22 to 11. Getting ready to start the third quarter. Skideman receives the inbound. Passes near side Woodstra. Woodstra to, Zil to Zilstra. Zilstra near the elbow. Cross court pass. Wide open three. Woodstra no good. And we're going to have a foul. I believe it's going to be on Rezea Sitzman. That's her first. Team's first of the third quarter. Nope, they called that. I'm sorry. They did not call that on her. They called it on Hoffmeyer. That's her second. As Sitzman with it now. That one partially blocked. Hodgson on the baseline. Puts it up and in. Nevea Hodgson with five. It's 22 to 13. Drives the lane. Shot from 18. Good for Stewart. She now has two. 24 13 is the score. Sitzman stops before the timeline, then brings it over. Passes right to Hodgson. Hodgson to Haley Poland. Right hand up off the glass, no good. It's going to be Jay's basketball. Will be Jay's basketball near underneath the hoop. 6.48 left to go here in the third quarter. Sitzman will inbound it. Slaps the ball, puts it in motion. Bounce pass into Hodgson. Hodgson in the paint, falls to the floor. And... A foul, it's going to be on 23. Woodstra, that's her second. It's going to be the team's, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is on Woodstra. That's just her first. So I must have given a foul to somebody that didn't deserve it. Apologize for that. Inbound to Larissa Poland. Poland with a right hand. Stops, bounce pass. Down to Sammy Zubrod. It's going to be off the Knights, out of bounds. And it will remain Jay's basketball. 6.39 left to go here in the third quarter. Hello to my friend Jeff watching in Indiana, hoping to possibly get him on in a future broadcast. Inbounded to Larissa Poland. Poland between the circles, dribbling back and forth, moving left. 6.32 left to go in the third quarter to Hodgson, poked away. Hoffmeyer quickly brings it up the floor, able to bring it under control, and they're gonna call a double dribble on Hoffmeyer. Sammy Zubrod's going to go out into the ball game. Comes Emerson Schmidt. Sitzman will bring it up the floor for the Jays. Up over the timeline between the legs. Dribble gets a screen from Hodgson. Try to do a little screen and roll. Sitzman counts on her. Gets it over to Poland. 20 left on the shot clock. Poland bounce pass. Try to get it to Haley. Intercepted by Skydeman. Skydeman's going to bring it up the floor. Off of her own feet. Three-point attempt, wide open. Woodstra, no good. Rebound by Larissa Poland. Quickly with numbers. It's going to be out of bounds by Zilstra. Nice effort by Zilstra trying to steal the one back. It's 24 to 13. 5.54 left to go here in the third quarter. Check out the Ag State scoreboard. Lower left corner, shot clock lower right corner. And the bottom line is brought to you tonight by Schuster Construction. Bounce pass to Schmidt. Schmidt's a little outsized and throws that one away. There's just kind of been a little bit of a miscommunication between Sitzman and Schmidt all night tonight as Kellen comes into the ball game and she comes in for Schmidt. Pair of Knights subbing into the ball game. Inbound will be Skideman. Skideman. Into the near corner, Scouten. Scouten, toes on the line, two. No good. Rebound by Haley Poland. Poked away from behind. Great effort by Noteboom as 
Skideman able to come away with it. Scouting back to Skideman. Pass left to Woodstra. Woodstra in the paint. Poked away by Haley Poland. Picked up by Larissa Poland. Handed off to Sitzman. Brings it up the floor. Over the timeline. Near the baseline. Bounce pass to Haley Poland. Back out to Grace Kellen. Over. Long attempt. No good by Hodgson. Rebound by Woodstra. Quickly ahead. Hand it off to Woodstra. Stops, kicks it out of the paint. Hoffmeyer swung around, far side, scouting, down low, and it's going to be thrown away, and Grace Kellen comes up with the ball, brings it up over the timeline with control of it, drives right side of the paint, shot no good off the front iron. Skideman will bring it up the floor, ahead to Woodstra. Woodstra with it now. Note boom, note boom, over to Skideman. Three-point attempt, Woodstra off the front iron, no good. She must love that shot. She shot that shot from three, t three times from the same area. Come up empty each time as that one is stolen away out of bounds and is going to remain Jays basketball. And we're going to see a quad of players coming into the ball game, make that a quintet of players coming into the ball game between the Jays and the Knights as Larissa Poland will be the inbounder. 405 left to go here in the third quarter. Remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube page. That way you'll know whenever we go live. We'll be live again tomorrow night as the Jays take on Trinity Christian. Sitzman, or I'm sorry, Kellen with it right now. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Sammy Zubrod, balls fought for, and we're going to have a reach and grab by Noteboom. That's going to be her second. It's going to be the team's third of this quarter. Of course, five team fouls, and then it resets after the quarter. All inbounded to Zubrod. Hand off to Sitzman. Sitzman, left side of the paint, puts up the shot. Aaron shot. I think she was kind of falling off. Partially blocked, they're going to say. And it's going to remain Jays basketball with 3.49 left to go here in this third quarter. Sitzman, the inbounder. Sitzman inbounds, bounce pass, puts up a shot. No good. Rebound by Woodstra. Ahead. Bounce pass. It's going to be off of Sitzman and out of bounds. It will remain Knights basketball. Inbounder will be Stewart. Stewart the inbounder. Gets it in. Pass it around. Scouting with it now. Passes left to Dykstra. Down low. Shot. No good. Rebound. Shot attempt by Stewart and she is fouled. Foul's going to be on Sitzman. That's her second. It's going to be, I'm sorry, it's her first. It's the team's first of this third quarter. First shot rattles around and down for Stewart. It's now 25-13. Feels like forever since we've had a bucket here of any sort. Second one is up and in for Stewart. It's 26-13 as Sitzman is up over the timeline. It's going to be off of the hands of J.C. Fender out of bounds. Bounce pass in to Stewart. Quickly ahead over the timeline. We're going to have a reach foul by Grace Kellen. That's going to be Grace's first. It's going to be the team's second. And we're going to see freshman Kennedy Paulson not quite quick enough to get in this time. She'll get in now as it's going to be Jay's basketball going the other way. And we're going to see her come in for Larissa Poland. A quad of Knights also comes onto the ball game. And we're going to see some pressure defense with a 13-point ball game. Sitzman with it now in the backcourt. Sitzman able to get a partial screen from Zubrod, drives the paint, loses control of the ball, kicks it out to Paulson, Paulson to Sitzman, three-point attempt is up, rattles around and down for Isaiah Sitzman, who now has five. It's thir uh, 26 to 16. Skideman kicks it out to Noteboom, Noteboom in the paint to Woodstra, Woodstra at the free throw line, over to Noteboom. Bounce pass down low, Hoffmeyer up and in. She now has nine, 28-26. Sitzman with it now, 
Facing a little bit of pressure. She brings it up over the timeline. Down low, Paulson puts up the layup, up and in. Kennedy Paulson for her first home varsity points. It's 28-18. Skydeman, top of the key, right hand, backs up, unguarded. Woodstra now passes it over into the corner. Rosenboom, Hoffmeyer, Woodstra to the near side. Note boom. And we're going to get a blocking foul by Grace Kellen. That's going to be number two on Kellen. It's going to be the third team foul. 2.13 left to go here in this third quarter. Woodstra, the inbounder, gets it in. Hoffmeyer. Skydeman with it now near the top of the key. Five second count is on her. To Zilstra. Woodstra with it now, dribbles out of the corner. Zilstra near the top of the key, drives into the paint, stops. Hoffmeyer puts it up off the backboard and in. Hoffmeyer now with 11. 18 to 30. Sitzman with a left hand between the legs over to Kellen. Kellen gets a screen from Fender, and we're going to get an offensive foul. It's going to be on Fender. Her first, team's fourth, as Skydeman brings it up the floor. I think they got her on a moving screen there. Bounce pass, Hoffmeyer puts it up, rattles around and down. Courtney Hoffmeyer now with 13. Sitzman with the left hand. Down low, Kennedy Paulson, a little too strong off the backboard on the floor. We're going to have a jump ball, a held ball is what they call it, and it's going to be Jay's basketball. Fender and Zubrod go out. Hodgson and Larissa Poling come in. Sitzman steps over the baseline. Turnover, 115 left to go here in this third quarter. 32-18, current score. Skydeman brings it up the floor. Into the near corner, Woodstra. Woodstra out to Zilstra. Far side is Stewart. And we're gonna have a kick ball. Of course, in the high school game, they did... They did change the rule. I thought initially they didn't change the rule. I had a ruling. It should have been 20 on the clock. It should have been 20 on the shot clock and not a reset of the clock. That's what I thought. So will they figure that out on the at the scorer's table? They got that set. Inbounding will be Stewart. Stewart into the near corner, Woodstra. Woodstra with it now. Baseline to Hoffmeyer. Hoffmeyer puts up a layup off the front iron. No good. Rebound by Hodgson. Bounce pass to Sitzman. Sitzman bringing up the floor. 48 left to go here in this third quarter. Puts up a right hand. No good. Woodstra with the rebound. Skydeman brings it up the floor for the Knights. Skydeman with it now. Over to the far side. Dribbling near the left elbow. Woodstra. Now brings it right side of the paint. Three point attempt, Zilstra off the iron. No good, rebound by Hodgson. Hodgson ahead to Sitzman, 25 on the game clock. No shot clock. Sitzman behind the back, puts it up and in. Isaiah Sitzman now with seven, it's 32 to 20. Breaks a little 4-0 run. Woodstra, three point attempt. Still no good, Larissa Poland with the rebound. Five seconds. Quickly up the floor, two seconds, one, puts up a runner off the backboard, and no good. 32 to 20 is the score going into the fourth quarter. We'll be back in a minute. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, 
comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. MHI and Cuso of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Jays trail this one by 12, down by as many as 16 in the ball game. Lost that quarter 10 to 9 as Skydeman will bring the ball over the timeline for the Knights. And we're going to get an offensive foul off the board, off the ball, and it's going to be on Hoffmeyer. It's going to be her third, team's first of this final quarter. Of course, the boys come up after this, roughly 17 to 20 minutes after the conclusion of this game, as Sitzman took a runner and fell pretty hard, came up a little bit limpy at, on the far end still as Woodstra out to Skydeman. Skydeman with it now to Woodstra. Down low, Woodstra puts up the shot and she is fouled. Woodstra's going to go to the line to shoot two and Sitzman picks up her second. I think I've said that a couple times tonight and I've been wrong. It's all right. Woodstra's going to go to the line to shoot two. Puts up the first, knocks it down. She now has three, all of her points on free throw attempts. <clears throat> Gets the second in her hand, puts it up, rattles around and down. Sitzman with it now, 34-20 is the lead for the Knights. Poland drives right side of the paint, puts up an underhanded layup and in. Larissa Poland now with four, it's 33-22. Skydeman passes left, Woodstra, Woodstra passes it back out, driving the paint, bounce pass to Hoffmeyer, Hoffmeyer on the right side. Now Skydeman passes left, Stewart. Now in the corner, Woodstra drives the baseline, kicks it back out. Being swung around well, and we're going to have three seconds in the lane. I believe that Hoffmeyer, who's camping out in the lane, got called for it and turns the ball over. Ball inbounded to Sitzman. 6.40 left to go here in this fourth quarter. 34-22, Jays trail by 12. Bounce pass in, Haley Poland stolen away, out of bounds. It's going to be Jays basketball. A little bit of physicality as Stewart was looking for the foul. Larissa Poland will be the inbounder, inbounds it to sit to Sitzman. Rizea with it now. With a left hand, having a little trouble handling the basketball. Hands it off to Larissa Poland. Down low, puts it up. Does Hodgson no good? It's going to be off of the Knights. And Jay's basketball. 34 on the shot clock. 6.17 left to go here in this fourth quarter. Sitzman will inbound it. Fakes the inbound once and twice. Gets it in. Down low. Hodgson puts up the shot off the backboard and in. She now has eight. It's 24 to 34. Jays on a little bit of a mini run here, 4-0. Hoffmeyer now out to Skydeman near the top of the key, bounce past Woodstra, wanted to get it down low to Hoffmeyer, instead being swung around. Scouting, bounce past Woodstra, gets a screen from Hoffmeyer. Now Hoffmeyer gets the backdoor cut and stolen away by Sitzman. He's gonna bring it up the floor, two on three. Sitzman spins in the lane, puts up a left hand, and is fouled by Woodstra. 
Woodstra commits her second foul. It's going to be the team's second. Or it's going to be the team's second foul of this fourth quarter, and the Jays aren't quite out of this one yet. 34-24. Sitzman at the line to shoot two. Gets ready to put up the first. Puts it up and knocks it down. Isaiah Sitzman now with eight. 34-25. 5.38 left to go in this fourth quarter. Sitzman gets ready to put up the next one and knocks it down. So Rizea with nine cuts it down to eight. Skydeman kicks it to the near corner. Scouting back to Skydeman. And Haley Poland commits the blocking foul. It's her third, it's the team's second. And we're gonna see Dykstra come into the ball game now for the Knights, giving Skydeman a little respite. Ball inbounded to Woodstra. Woodstra hands it off to Zilstra. Zilstra, right side of the paint, runs into Hodgson, and it's gonna be Jay's basketball. Hodgson planted her feet, stood strong, and Zilstra lost control of the basketball. Sitzman brings it up the floor. Left hand, now right, stolen away by Scouten. Scouten quickly ahead, Larissa Poland back nicely. Woodstra puts up the shot, no good. On the continuation, they're gonna call the foul on Larissa Poland. Two shots as the Jays pick up their third team foul of the quarter. First free throw by Woodstra is up off the back iron that hit the safety strap and was no good. Five minutes even, and it is an eight-point ball game. Game still in doubt. Rizea Sitzman will bring the ball up for the Jays. But if they want to have a chance in this ball game, they need to start scoring soon. Haley Poland, far corner. Shot fake, drives the baseline. It's going to be off of it's going to be off of Dykstra, and it will be Jays basketball still. Skydeman comes in for Woodstra. Zubrod goes out. Kellen comes into the ball game. 4.48 left to go here in the fourth. 22 seconds left on the shot clock, and Sitzman will be the inbounder. Sitzman fakes the inbound. Now gets it down low. Poland puts up the shot, reversing in. Larissa Poland with six points now. Jays are on a six point run. 34 28. Down low, and no basket, but. Sitzman picks up her third and will send Hoffmeyer to the line to shoot two. Hoffmeyer comes to the line to shoot two. Gets the basketball, getting ready to put up the first. First one off the back iron, rattles around and down. Count the first, breaks Galen's scoring streak and I think they're going to talk about it and see if it might have hit the safety strap. I thought it might have but I wasn't sure. They're going to talk about it. They're going to say I'll wait for them to go to the scorers table. Still 34 so I'm guessing the point does not count. Second one off the back iron. No good. Rebound stolen away by Poland. Poland quickly ahead. Bounce pass to Haley Poland. It's going to be too far off of her hands, out of bounds. It's going to be uh, Knights basketball. We're going to get a full timeout from Coach Brandon Shecker. 426 left to go here in this fourth quarter. Back in 60, Fuller Digital Solutions. 
AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planter Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today to learn more about our large selection of new and used planters. AgriVision Equipment, focused on your future. Reliance means being dependable. And when it comes to comfort in your home, you want Reliance from a place you can trust with a product you can count on. That's why Marcus Lumber stocks Reliance brand water heaters. Because with Reliance in the name, it's the brand you can trust. Marcus Lumber has been stocking and installing Reliance water heaters for decades. So choose the name you trust for your home. Choose Marcus Lumber and Reliance water heaters. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. 4.26 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Jays trail this one, 35-28. Possession arrow goes to the Jays as Skydeman brings it up over the timeline. Scouten throws it far corner. Dykstra three knocks it down. Julia Dykstra now with five. It's 39-28. Sorry, 38-28. Must have counted that one for two. Puts up a shot, no good from Sitzman. Skydeman with it near. Three point attempt, Dykstra again. Ball gets stuck, 346. Possession arrow says Jay's basketball. They're going to need another ball to get this one down because there isn't anybody tall enough on the court right now to get it down. Ball is now down. 3.46 left to go here in this third quarter. Kellen with it now. Needs a little help. Gets it from Larissa Poland and is fouled by Skydeman out near the top of the key. Long way to commit the foul. Four fouls for the Jays. Three fouls for the Knights. It's going to be a sideline inbound. Inbounding to Kellen. Kellen, top of the key, right side of the lane, throws it away. Coming away with it is Dykstra, quickly, like a four-on-one. Skydeman puts it up and in. That's Skydeman's first field goal of the night. It's 40-28. to Sitzman brings it up over the timeline with her left hand. Puts up the three, no good. Rebound by Scouten. Scouten will quickly come back the other way. 3-10 left to go, and she stepped on the sideline. And it will be Jay's basketball. Kellen will go out of the ball game. And uh, Paulson will come into the ball game for the Jays. Sitzman brings it up over the timeline. Puts up the shot, no good. And we're going to have a foul by Haley Poland. That's going to be her fourth. Team's fifth. It is the team's fifth, so it is an automatic two free throws from here on out for the Knights, regardless of what happens here. First free throw attempt for Ruby Zilstra. Zilstra puts up the first and knocks it down. She now has seven, it's 41 to 28. Second shot from Zilstra is up, rattles around and out, no good. Rebound by Poland. Poland will bring up the floor for the Jays, left hand. Pushes right side of the paint, bounce pass to Haley, over to Paulson, puts up the three, knocks it down. Kennedy Paulson now with five. Narrows the lead, 31 to 41. 
Jay's now showing a little bit of pressure in the backcourt. Skydeman brings it up over the timeline, guarded by Haley Polin. Skydeman with the right hand, near corner, three-point attempt, scouting, no good. Rebound by Sammy Zubrod. Zubrod pass it over to Sitzman. Sitzman brings it up over the timeline. Jay's running out of time. Ten, po uh, ten point deficit, 2.15 left to go in the ball game. Gets it out to Larissa Poland. Kennedy Sitzman wants an, or Kennedy Paulson wanting that basketball. It's a kick ball. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. 2.09 left to go in the ball game. Fourth quarter. Dykstra goes out of the ball game. Woodstra comes back in. Sitzman inbounds it, poked out. Nope. Nice job by Larissa Poland, visually staying with that ball. It is now 33 to 41. Skydeman gets it to Hoffmeyer. Hoffmeyer drives near the baseline, kicks it out to Woodstra. Woodstra now drives toward the basket. In the paint, spinning, and travels with the basketball. Turnover to the Jays. 145 left to go here in the third. It's an eight point ball game. Inbound to Sitzman. Sitzman quickly up over the timeline with a left hand. Passes left to Zubrod. Zubrod toward the free throw line. Knocked out of bounds by Woodstra. 135 left to go. Jays down by eight. They've got 95 seconds left in the ball game. Larissa Poland to inbound the basketball. Bounce pass into Sitzman. Stolen away. Hoffmeyer comes up with it. Skydeman will bring it up over the timeline. Up, Woodstra. Deep three. Good! Woodstra now with seven. Extends the lead to 44-33. Sitzman between the legs dribble. Wanted Larissa Pohl in there for a second. Now gets it to her. Pulls up her own three, no good off the corner of the iron, and we're going to have a held ball, and it's going to be Knights basketball. Into the ball game will be Hodgson, and out goes Zubrod. 64 ticks of the clock left. Jays might start playing the foul game. Skydeman with it now. Guarded by Haley Pullen in the backcourt. Skydeman spins up over the timeline. Scouting with it now. Drives into the paint. Stolen away. Kicked ahead quickly by Sitzman. Chased quickly up. Free th or layup no good. Rebound by Scouting. Poked away by Sitzman. Out of bounds. It's going to remain Knights basketball with 47.3 left to go. 32 left on the shot clock. Bevia substitutions coming now. Ball inbounded to Skydeman. Now Stewart brings it up over the timeline. Hoffmeyer at the free throw line. Being swiped at, swiped away. It's going to be off of Hoffmeyer and it's going to be Jay's basketball. 34.9. Shot clock's off. It's an 11, or it's a, I'm sorry, yes, it is an 11 point deficit right now for the Jays as Kellen goes out and Paulson comes in. Bounce pass in. Sitzman with it now. 32 left as she brings it up over the timeline. Stops, pops, puts it up. Off the back iron, no good. Quickly up. Poland, Larissa Poland bounces around, no good. Ball fought for Woodstra, and we're going to have a foul by Sitzman. That's going to be Sitzman's fourth. It's going to be the team's, uh, I believe it's sixth or seventh. Either way, it's two shots. Schmidt will be waiting to come into the ball game as Woodstra goes to the line to shoot two. Woodstra puts up the first, knocks it down. She now has eight. 45-33 as most all of the starters go out for the Jays. A nice effort for the Jays here tonight as the second one goes up and in for Woodstra. She now has nine and it's 46 to 33. 
Grace Kellen brings it up over the timeline with 15 left, thrown away to Hoffmeyer. Hoffmeyer quickly ahead. Now over to Skideman. Three point attempt. Woodstra, no good, coming up with it. Still being fought for like a hot potato with one and zero and 46 to 33 will be the final. We'll come back and talk about it after this. You're watching Jays and Knights. AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planner Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today to learn more about our large selection of new and used planters. AgriVision Equipment, focused on your future. Reliance means being dependable. And when it comes to comfort in your home, you want Reliance from a place you can trust with a product you can count on. That's why Marcus Lumber stocks Reliance brand water heaters. Because with Reliance in the name, it's the brand you can trust. Marcus Lumber has been stocking and installing Reliance water heaters for decades. So choose the name you trust for your home. Choose Marcus Lumber and Reliance water heaters. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Knights win this ball game by a score of 46 to 33. Final scoring looks like this. Mia Skideman had four points. Julia Dykstra with five. Emily Noteboom with two. Stewart with four. Ruby Zilstra with seven. Woodstra with nine. And Hoffmeyer with a team high 13. Lead, leading all scorers. For Isaiah Sitzman with nine. Haley Pollen with one. Emerson Schmidt with two. Kennedy Polson with five. Larissa Pollen with eight. And Nevaeh Hodgson with nine. Jays fought valiantly in this one. I thought it was an impressive effort by this Jays basketball team in one of the closer games that the Lady Jays have played with the Knights all, all uh, well, shoot, for the past two or three years at least. There have been a lot of uh, a lot of 30 and 40 point blowouts and for the Jays to be within shooting distance here at the end within eight in the last four minutes or so of the ball game, a very impressive effort by the Jays here tonight. Be interesting to see tomorrow night if we see Walgenbach out on the floor or if what looked like to be possibly a knee tweak is something a little bit more serious. On a positive note, Kennedy Paulson came out and knocked down a few nice buckets here in her first home varsity action. So an impressive effort by them. Uh, too bad that it did not turn out differently for the Jays here tonight. But sometimes that's just um, that's just the way it goes when you're playing up in competition um, again a little bit of a disappointing outcome for the Jays here tonight the Knights look strong uh, still a younger looking team not a single senior listed on their roster uh, Skydeman only a sophomore Dykstra a junior uh, nope, boom, a junior. Stewart was a junior. Zilstra and Woodstra and Hoffmeyer, all juniors. So a lot of the talent and the height and the skill that had been at Unity for a long time isn't necessarily there, but you saw the Jays try to take advantage of it tonight, and I think you'll hear uh, probably not as down of a coach checker as you might have in the past after a, uh, after a game against Unity Christian. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick reset, uh, get you ready for tonight's boys' action, and get ready for tonight's game. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're watching Jays and Knights on Flow Digital Solutions and Flow Digital.
Senior Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There is no other charitable gift that offers you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information about MLTF at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Please consider a gift to MLTF to give the gift of Catholic education. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on tonight's broadcast. Appreciate you joining us wherever you might be across the country, around the world. Uh, looking at bringing you some entertaining interviews for this time period in the uh, in the coming future. Hoping to have some uh, some folks from my personal past as well as folks from the Jays past. It'd be great to have some uh, some Jays that can reach out to me uh, uh, on my school email. You can find it at mshilling at galencatholic.org. Uh, you can find me in the directory there. So don't don't hesitate to uh, to reach out. Some things that are upcoming at Galen Catholic, of course, a week from yesterday is the elementary concert here in the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. That is a 7 o'clock start time. It is always a packed house that night, so make sure you get here early, get your seats. The far bleachers will be where the, uh, the kids will be singing at, and so you'll want to make sure you get your good seats. Uh, of course, chairs will be on the floor as well as the near side bleachers will be available to sit. A week from today will be the um, will be the uh, the choir concert over at the uh, St. Joseph's Church. You'll be able to catch that. I believe that's going to be live streamed on St. Joseph's or All Saints Parish's um, YouTube channel. It is a free will offering as far as admission. And that has the Vespers concert on Thursday night. Of course, the Christmas break is also coming up. So make sure you take note of that. Next Wednesday at Galen is a early dismissal. Christmas break is the 21st through the 2nd of January. And on the 2nd of January, we will be back live here on Florida Digital Solutions. Of course, we're going to be live tomorrow night here with the Trinity game. Check out all the action on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. You can like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way you know when we go live, like we will be tomorrow night. Tip time for the girls' game will be 6 o'clock. Make sure you tune in for that. So a lot happening here. Of course, you heard me mention earlier, maybe you didn't hear me mention earlier, that the there is an auto auction or auto raffle going on, <clears throat> and it is through the Diocese of Sioux City, all 16 diocesan schools have tickets so you can contact Amy Jungers in the development office. It is a chance to win a $50,000 vehicle voucher. Of course you are responsible for all tax, title, license, registration, and insurance fees. Uh, so make sure you're not going to skip out on that. Um, it is a good opportunity to for $100 to possibly have a $50,000 vehicle. So make sure you, like I said, contact Amy with the diocese. Proceeds will go to the Galen Catholic Schools, or the, uh, sorry, the Catholic Schools of the Archdiocese of Sioux City. Like I said, I'm hoping to get some folks on for interviews here in the coming, in the coming weeks that you might have some interest with. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And we will be back after this. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. 
For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you tonight. Appreciate you joining us wherever you might be. Of course, hello to the Kurth family watching at home. I know that you're tuned in on your giant screen TV. I know NFL action is in full effect here tonight. Try to take a look at that and see where those scores are. As we do that, we also remind you that the Jays will be on the air again tomorrow night on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. You can find that game right here on this channel. Oh boy, if you're an Iowa State fan, the boys are up 47 to 29 here at halftime. In the National Football League, Patriots out early, 7-0 with 10.28 left to go here in the first. We'll try to keep you updated with some of those scores from around the nation. Remind you that Brandon Shecker will join us here either shortly before this game or he will join us at halftime of the boys game. like to thank a lot of our sponsors our spot we could not do these broadcasts without our sponsors and if you're a local small business and you want to get great advertising i can tell you that on average galen games get about a thousand eyes or a thousand views per game so that doesn't include how many total people are in the room but five star communications which is espn radio agrivision of lamar's Floyd Valley Healthcare, Ag State Energy, Holstein Manufacturing, Colbeck Incorporated, Marcus Lumber, uh, MHI out of out of Cherokee, Prime Bank, and Sitzman Construction. We could not do it without all of these sponsors providing financial backing to help bring this action to you tonight. And of course, they do it all the way through the playoffs. So make sure that you support these local businesses. But if you are a small local business yourself, reach out to Fuller Digital Solutions at galencatholic.org, or sorry, <laughs> Fuller Digital Solutions at gmail.com if you wish to become an advertiser with Fuller Digital Solutions, in particular this Fuller Digital Solutions channel. Um, we really can't do it without great local sponsors and we really need the help of the local sponsors. With that being said, let's hear from a couple of our sponsors. We'll be back after this. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. Staying healthy means enjoying life's best moments. And the best way to stay healthy is to make your routine appointments. Whether you have new symptoms or it's time for your annual exam, the providers at Floyd Valley Healthcare know and listen to you. So you'll get the care that you need. Staying healthy means enjoying life's best moments. And the best way to stay healthy is to make your routine appointments. Whether you have new symptoms or it's time for your annual exam, the providers at Floyd Valley Healthcare know and listen to you. So you'll get the care that you need. We help you stay healthy by providing preventative care, finding health concerns early, managing chronic conditions, and connecting you with specialty care close to home. Don't miss a single special moment. 
Make your appointment today. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. As you see in the as you see in the foreground of this shot here, you see Gabe Wilchin in street clothes. He came out with uh, what is believed to be a bit of an ankle sprain on Monday night in the Akron game early on in the third quarter. So he will be in street clothes tonight for this affair between these two teams, and it will be interesting to see how well the Jays respond without his senior leadership out on the floor here tonight. Of course, it's a team game, so there are many other bodies, but you'd hate to not, you hate not having that leadership out on the floor for the Jays. Talked to Coach Wilchin in the hallway on Monday, or on Tuesday rather, and he indicated to me that today was probably going to be a no-go but there is a possibility an outside possibility for him suiting up on Friday and then again just seeing if he's able to suit up if not he will be back in action next week we will take a one minute timeout and be back after this with starting lineups you're watching Jay's and nights on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. Catholic in Lamars, Iowa instills respect and Christian values in a caring environment for students preschool through 12th grade. Teachers and staff go above and beyond to provide a high quality education and are dedicated to student success. We are a community striving to live God's word each day through academic service opportunities, athletics, and so much more. Galen Catholic School, in partnership with Spalding Catholic School, all are welcome to experience excellence in education and leadership through Christ. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Welcome back to the Dev Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call here tonight. We will momentarily turn it over tonight's public address announcer for starting lineups. At the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym here at Galen Catholic. Let's extend another special welcome to our guest, the Knights from Unity Christian. Galen Catholic Schools encourage positive sportsmanship and behavior at the game tonight. By practicing good sportsmanship, you will make tonight's game one to remember. Let's give a hand for our officials for tonight's game. Scott Wilmot, Nick Nelson, and Tyler Vanderloo. Now let's welcome the coaches. The Knights are coached by Cody Hasserkamp, Jesse Van Dong, Kevin Van Dong, and Seth Swidarski. The Jays are coached by Ryan Wilchin, assisted by Eric Kellen and Alec Langle. And now for the starters. For the Knights, a junior, number five, Braden Bosma. For the Jays, a senior, number two, Trevor Teal. For the Knights, a sophomore, number 10, Dylan Bosma. For the Jays, a senior, number 10, Jackson Kramer. For the Knights, a sophomore, number 12, Austin Wieringa. 
For the Jays, a senior, number 12, Landon Ryder. For the Knights, a junior, number 21, Colton Smith. For the Jays, a sophomore, number 14, Nolan Teal. And for the Knights, a junior, number 40, Jackson Vogel. And for the Jays, a sophomore, number 50, Carson Arns. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call tonight. Appreciate you joining us wherever you might be. As we get ready for the opening tip, Carson Arns will take the center circle with Braden Bosma. There are two Bosmas. I'll try to refer to them by first name if I can. Please bear with me as I do my best on that. Opening tip is up. Big control by the Knights. Bringing up the floor is Dylan. Now in the corner, back to Dylan. Top of the key, kicks right to Brendan. Brendan gets it back. Got it back from Smith. Smith stolen away by the Jays. Quickly ahead is Landon Ryder into the corner. Trevor Teal, three, no good. Rebound by Vogel. Jackson Vogel gets it ahead to Dylan Bosma. Not a Ringa. Back to Dylan Bosma, to Braden Bosma. Braden Bosma, long cross-court pass. Ringa, three, knocks it down. Opens the game with a three. And that'll open in scoring for both teams. Nolan Teal with it now. Teal with a right hand to his brother. Trevor. Bounce pass, Carson Arns back out. Three point attempt, Ryder knocks it down. Landon Ryder with three. It's a three, three ball game early on in the first. And a quick layup. By Waringa. He now has all five of the Knights points. Jackson Kramer, right side of the paint, stuffed. It's gonna be out of bounds and it's gonna still remain Knights basketball. 5-3 the score here early on in the ball game. Kramer will be the inbounder for the Jays. Kramer, long inbound pass to Trevor Teal near the center timeline. Trevor down to Carson Arns. Arns bouncing in the lane. Nice job by Carson Arns to drain that one. It's 5-5. Quickly, Brent Braden. That ball ahead, picked up Trevor. And he walked with the basketball to Landon Ryder. Inbounding will be Braden Bosma. Braden inbounds to Dylan. Dylan brings it across the timeline, kicks it left to Waringa. Back to Dylan. Now with it is Braden to Dylan. Dylan with the right hand, kicks it. Corner, three, Smith knocks it down. Colton Smith with the three. And it's eight to five in favor of the Knights. Jays not at 100% tonight. Landon Ryder to Trevor Teal. Top of the key, three knocks it down. Eight, eight, the score, corner, top of the key. Swung around, corner. Dylan Bosco knocked out of bounds. And it's gonna remain Knights basketball. Eight, eight, 524, 525 left to go here in the first. Not sure what we got out here. Piece of something, paper or Band-Aid, I'm not quite sure. Official's gonna, he's gonna find that trash can in the bleachers. Points it in for play, and Dylan Bosma looking to inbound it, gets it, 
corner. Smith, three, no good. Rebound. Still being fought for. It's going to be on the baseline. Touch by Vogel, and it's going to be Jays basketball. 5-19 left to go in the first, and it's a line change for the Knights. The Knights are going to bring in an entirely new team. We'll try to do our best to stay with that as the night goes on, no pun intended. Jackson Kramer, the inbounder. Knight showing full court pressure. Landon Ryder loses possession of the ball. El Camp, Emil Camp rather, came away with it. Driving toward the basket. Now another drive, Van Beek shot, no good. Rebound in the corner, Van Beek with it. Now further in the corner, Van Berg. Sorry, Vandenberg. Knights doing a good job of swinging this one around. Van Beek to Van Ber Vandenberg. And we're going to have a foul. It's going to be a foul on the floor. It's going to be on Nolan Teal, it looks like. It's going to be his first, team's first. Dane Lehman and Aiden Langle coming to the ball game. Kramer and Ryder go to the bench. Papama with it now. These names move so quick. Here as Van Beek kicks it right. Now further into the corner is Papama. Again, Knights doing a good job of rotating the ball around. Count is on. Papama kicked out. 16 left on the shot clock. Three point attempt is good for Travion Van Beek. 11-8 is the score. Hayden Langle, the inbounder, gets it into Nolan Teal. Nolan along the sideline and is fouled by Elliot Vandenberg. That's gonna be his first, team's first. 4-17 left to go in the first. Ag State brings you the scoreboard. Lower left-hand corner, lower right-hand corner is the shot clock. That one's stolen away by the Knights. Nice job reading and intercepting the pass by Van Beek. Corner three, thought about it. Vandenberg as he walked with a basketball. 4-11 to go in the first as Kramer and Ryder come back into the ball game. Trevor Teal and Carson Arns go to the bench. Aiden Langle, the inbounder. Langle gets it into Kramer. Kramer with it in the backcourt, about 70 feet, throws it up over the timeline. Landon Ryder, top of the key, Kramer. A lot of jumping to receive the passes. Kramer now in between the circles with the left hand back to the right. Drives right side of the paint, lowers the shoulder, swiped away, picked up by Nolan Teal. Still in the paint on the floor. Fight for it still, and the Knights coming away with the basketball. Van Beek brings it up over the timeline. Corner, down low, guarded by Lehman. Emil Camp, now top of the key, Van Beek, corner. Papama, Papama tries to get it down low, intercepted partially by uh, Nolan Teal, and Landon Ryder will bring it up over the timeline. Kicks it to Jackson Kramer to the right, now to Nolan Teal. Free throw line, right side, paint, puts it up, loses touch, no good. Dane Lehman able to get the rebound and put it back up for the basket. 11-10 is the score. Jays trail this one by one. 3-0-9 left to go in the first quarter. Facing some pressure as Emil Camp now being kicked around. Van Beek, long two, good. That was a two by Luem Emil Camp. He is a 6-3 senior. Landon Ryder with it, brings it up over the timeline. 2.43 left to go here in the first. And it's gonna be out of bounds. It's gonna be Jay's basketball. And that on the last time down got stuck. So Brendan Bosma goes, sorry, Braden Bosma goes down, pulls it down, and Jackson Kramer will be the inbounder with 2.34 left to go here in the first. Inbounds to Landon Ryder. 18 left on the shot clock. Landon gets a screen. Kramer down to Arns, back out to Kramer. Shot fake. 
Gets it to Lehman at the free throw line. Spins, kicks it back out to Kramer. Five on the shot clock. Needs to move. Kramer loses control of the ball. Needs to put up a shot. Shot clock violation and a turnover. Nice defense. Clock is still running. The clock is probably about two extra seconds went off the clock there as Waringa puts up the basket but is fouled. Basket no, uh, did not fall for him. As I believe Lehman came away with the foul. That's going to be his first. It's going to be the team's second. And we are going to get a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with the Jays. Back in 30, you're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call tonight. Knights lead this one 13 to 10. 2.03 left to go in the first quarter. At the line to shoot two is Austin Waringa. Waringa to shoot two. Lehman is the one that committed the foul. First one is up off the front iron. No good for Waringa. Second free throw attempt is up, knocks it down. Does Waringa, he has six now, and it's 12-10, and we've got a foul in the backcourt. That one's gonna go against Braden Bosma. That's his first, team's second. Aiden Langle will be the inbounder. Unity showing a little bit of a loose press here as Kramer. Gets it over to Andy Langle. Bounce pass ahead to Ryder. In the corner, Arns. Gets it down low. Langle kicks it out. Ryder, three, knocks it down. Landon Ryder now with six. It's 13-14. Shot no good. Rebound by Lehman. Kramer bringing it up for the Jays. 130 left to go in the first. Aiden Langle with it now. Kicks it up to Kramer, to Ryder. Lehman, far side, beyond the arc. Ryder with it now. Gets it to Lehman at the free throw lane. Spinning, loses possession of the basketball. Bosma, Dylan Bosma comes up with it. Brings it up over the timeline. Corner, three. Waringa, no good. Rebound by the Knights. Waringa gets it again wide open. No good. Landon Ryder comes away with the rebound. Jays trail by one. One minute left to go in the first quarter. Ryder brings it up over the timeline. Kramer, Lehman, now Langle. Being kicked around well, down low. Carson Arns, double team, and is fouled by Jackson Vogel. That'll be Vogel's first. It's going to be the team's third, and it's going to send Arns to the line to shoot two. Teal and Teal waiting to come into the ball game. Sure, there's a TNT something in there. This Carson Arns come to the ball game. Landon Ryder goes out, and Jackson Kramer goes out. Lose a little bit of size, a little bit of thickness with those two going out of the ball game. Carson Arns at the line to shoot the second. Less than full stands here tonight as Carson Arns knocks down his second free throw. Arns now with three, tied at 14. Corner, thought about a three. Dylan, sorry, Dylan with it now. Now Braden Bosma near the top of the key. Jay's showing a bit of a two three zone. Down low, shot blocked by Carson Arns. They're gonna call a foul. Carson Arns put his arms up, thought he got it cleanly, did not. Austin Waringa will go to the line to shoot two with 30 ticks left in this first quarter. First shot is up. Rattles around and out, no good. (laughs) 
Knights will sub four here for the final 30 seconds of the quarter. A nice luxury to have. Bench eight deep is Waringa. Knocks down his seventh point of the ball game. 15-14. Clock needs to start. Somebody needs to start the clock. Finally gets over the timeline. Carson Arns to Nolan Teal. Teal drives, stops in the paint, knocked out of bounds. It's going to be night basketball. 19.5 left to go. And we will now see four Knights go in. Probably the same four that came out. Inbound on the basketball, Dylan Bosma. Bosma ahead to Braden Bosma. Braden has it again with 10 on the clock. Into the corner. Dylan has it now with six. Tries to get it down low. Three point attempt at the buzzer. No good. Rebound, Aiden Langle. And it's 15 14 at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back in 60 seconds. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions and fullerdigital.net. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. MHI and Cuso of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call for tonight's action. Jays trail this one by one after one. Thanks to Ag State for bringing you tonight's scoreboard. Laura left, shot clock, Laura right, and Schuster Trucking for bringing you tonight's bottom line. Ryder back into the ball game with it now. Into the near corner, Kramer. Kramer dribbles near the top of the key. Into the corner, Carson Arns near side. Now Nolan Teal spins at about 16 feet. Now out to Kramer, far side, Nolan Teal. Sorry, that was the other Teal. Teal Brothers on the floor. Nolan will go to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on 21, Colton Schmidt. That's his first, team's first of the second quarter. Nolan Teal at the line now to shoot two. Puts up the first. Knocks it down. Ties the ball game up at 15. Nolan gets ready to put up the second. Puts it up off the back iron. No good. We're still tied at 16. Braden Bosma, or 15 rather. Braden Bosma kicks to Dillon. Corner, three. No good. Rebound, fought for. Nolan Teal comes up with it. Nolan brings it up over the timeline. Jackson Kramer in the corner is Trevor Teal. It's going to be off of a night out of bounds off of Jackson Vogel to remain Jays basketball. Two, or sorry, 7.17 left to go here in the second quarter. 23 on the shot clock. Jackson Kramer in to Trevor Teal. Now out to Nolan. Nolan left to Trevor. Guarded. Puts up a deep three. Off the iron. No good. Fought for. Picked up by Braden Bosma. Braden will bring it off the floor right in front of Carson Arns. Braden kicks it right to Dylan. Out to Jackson Vogel. Hand off, Braden Bosma, left side, baseline, knocks it down. That's our particular sticky here tonight is that one kind of hung up and Braden Bosma gets his first two points of the ball game. It's 17-15 as Trevor Teal gets some elevation and pulls down the net for the officials. 
He will be the inbounder, and it looks like he's going to inbound to Kramer. It's a little bit of three-on-three -three zone pressure in the backcourt. 6.46 left to go in the second. Up to Kramer. Kramer, far side. That one's intercepted by... That was intercepted by Jackson Vogel, and he was fouled, I believe, by Landon Ryder. It's going to be Landon's first. Team's first of the second quarter. And Jackson Vogel will be the inbounder. Hands it off to Dylan Bosman, brings it up over the timeline, gets it back down to Vogel. Backdoor cut, puts up the shot, knocks it down. Does Colton Smith. Smith now with five. 19 as Braden Bosma commits the foul, 19-15 is the score. Jackson Kramer struggled a little bit in the backcourt trying to get the ball up over the timeline, trying to do a little bit of jump passing and getting caught in midair from time to time. Kramer over to Ryder, back to Kramer. Kramer jumps up over the timeline, tied up tight. And it's either going to be on Van Beek or Ringo. We're going to call it on Travion Van Beek. That's his first. It's going to be the team's third of the second quarter. And Kramer will be the inbounder. Gets the ball inbounded to Landon Ryder. Ryder, top of the key with a right hand, passes it right to Kramer. Kramer down low. Arns goes to put up a shot and is partially blocked. Out of bounds. Block was on Colton Smith. Had a nice job just stripping Arns of the ball out of his hand. Trevor Teal will be the inbounder, gets it into Nolan. Nolan touches it. It's going to be an over and back. And a turnover with 6.07 left to go here in the second. They're going to come together. The officials are to make sure it is an over and back. The ball was touched in the front court. I believe they're talk they're just trying to get some clarity on the rule. And it's gonna they're gonna give it to They're gonna give it to the Jays and they're gonna give it to him in the backcourt. Jackson Kramer will be the inbounder. Gets it into Nolan Teal. Nolan in the front court. Top of the key, passes to Landon Ryder. Ryder dribbles toward the top of the key, passes left to Kramer, further left to Nolan Teal, and he was fouled by Dylan Bosma, I believe. Oh, they're going to call the foul on Travion Van Beek. That's going to be his second. It's going to be the team's fourth. And the Knights are going to bring in Cole Renz, senior, 6-2. He'll go face up Kramer as Trevor Teal is the inbounder, gets it into Nolan. Nolan drives, puts it up in the lane, no good. Rebound, fought for. Nolan on the floor with it, and we're going to have a tie-up, and it's going to be Knights basketball. 19-15 the score, no movement here in the past couple minutes. 5.49 left to go here in the second. Baringa inbounds the ball to Dylan Bosma. Bosma brings it up over the timeline. Bosman with a right hand. Passes left to Renz. With it now is Smith. Smith, jump pass out to Dylan Bosman. Top of the key, 15 left on the shot clock. Pass right, now back left. Corner, three. Smith, no good. Fought for. It's going to be off of... I believe it's going to be off of... No, or by uh, Trevor Teal, and it's going to remain Knights basketball. 5.22 left to go in the second quarter. Fresh shot clock. Inbounding the basketball, Dylan Bosma. Out to Waringa. Waringa in the corner. Jackson Vogel near side. Top of the key now, spinning, catching the pass, Waringa. Far side, Waringa with it now in the lane. Jumps, puts it up. Count the basket and the foul. Count the basket for Ringa, so he now has nine. It's 21-15. Second team foul, and the foul goes on Jackson Kramer. That's his first as the free throw is up and good. He now has 10, does Waringa. It's 22-15, and it is a 
five point run now by the Knights. Trapping the Jays a little bit in the backcourt corner. Three, Arns, no good. Rebound, one and done, Colton Smith. Smith quickly up the floor to Renz. Renz down low. Renz gets it back, corner, three. Basma, no good. Rebound, fought for, comes up with by Carson Arns. Arns swarmed. Now it's over to Nolan Teal. Nolan will bring it up the floor, four and a half left to go here in the second quarter. Coach Shecker coming up with us at halftime. Kramer with it now. Top of the key. Teal, three, no good. Rebound by Jackson Vogel. Pass it out to Dylan Bosma. Down low, stolen away by Kramer. Kramer quickly ahead, gets around the defender, puts up the layup, up, no good. Rebound fought for, Renz comes away with it. Up the floor, Waringa. Waringa drives toward the basket, loses possession, it's gonna be Jay's basketball. We'll see it quad of players coming in at the scorer's table. We'll work on this with 4.05 left to go here in the quarter. Try to get your names and numbers as we can. The other Aiden Langle is in now. We have, we have both Aiden Langles in, so I'm not sure how we, will, uh, how we will define this, but Nolan Teal spins in the lane and puts it up and in. Nolan Teal now with three and breaks the run, and we are gonna get a foul, and it's gonna be on Trevor Teal. That's gonna be his first, team's third. It'll be a sideline inbound by Waringa. Waringa inbounds it to Dylan Basma. Basma with 3.43 left to go in the half. Into the corner, Papama being swung around, three-point attempt, knocked down by Colton Smith, and again, the net gets hung up. Nolan Teal pulls the net down. Subs are coming in. Nolan Teal will go out and losing a bit of height, but gaining a bit of girth is Dylan Lubin coming into the ball game now. Lubin, bounce pass to Aiden Langle, back to Lubin. Lubin stops. And that pass is intercepted, layup up and in for Waringa. He now has 12, and it's 24, or sorry, 27 to 17. Over the timeline is Lubin. That one touched by a J, picked up by Trevor Teal. Trevor with it now, down to Lehman. Lehman puts up the layup, partially blocked, no good. Rebound by the Knights. Dylan Bosman will bring it up the floor. Just under three minutes to go in the half. Ball swung around, Wren. Reverse layup, no good. And that shot by Papama is no good, and he's fouled. And that one's going to go on Lehman also. That's going to be Lehman's second, team's fourth. Send Jackson Papama to the line to shoot two. Papama puts up the first, knocks it down. His first point of the ball game. It's now 28-17. Puts up the second, no good. Rebound by Lehman, hands it off to Langle. Lubin comes up the floor with it now. Lubin to Trevor Teal. Trevor with the left hand, pushes it to Lubin. Lubin in the paint, stops, puts it up and in. Dylan Lubin with two. 28-19. Jays cut the lead down to nine. Into the corner, three, no good. Rebound, Lehman. Lehman hands it off to Aiden Langle, number 34 Aiden Langle, as Lubin brings it up the floor for the Jays. Lubin Langle. Langle, Teal, and Lehman on the floor. Lubin out to 34, Langle to Trevor Teal. Three, no good. Rebound by Papama. Quickly ahead, Waringa down low. And we're gonna have a foul by 24, Langle. I don't know how to... <laughs> I'm not sure how to best define these guys for you. 
Uh, but that's what we'll do. We'll kind of do a jersey number and and uh, and last name with two Aiden Langles on the floor. First one is up and no good for Lou Am. Emil Camp. 28-19 is the score. Coach Shecker will join us at halftime to talk about the girls game. Second one is no good. Rebound by 34 Langle. Lubin will bring it up the floor for the Jays. 138 left to go. Lubin with the left hand. Hands it off to 34 Langle to 24 Langle. Three point. Layman. No good. Rebound by 34 Langle. Out to Nolan Teal. 123 left to go. Nolan Teal between the legs dribble near the top of the key hands it off to Lubin Lubin left side of the lane puts up a floater no good rebound fought for and I believe Lehman was fouled on the play foul's going to be on Emil Camp that's his first team's fifth so Lehman will go to the line to shoot two Lehman's first shot is up and in. He now has three on the night. 28-20. Subs are shuttled in. Lehman gets ready to put up the second. Puts it up off the front iron. No good. Rebound. Teal puts up the shot. And that one is no good, but he will go to the line to shoot two. Will Trevor Teal. Austin Waringa picks up his first foul. Nolan Teal. First shot, no good. Off kind of the side iron, hit the back iron and backboard, and no good. Dane Lehman putting in a little workhorse time. Nolan Teal puts up the second. No good. Fought for out of bounds. It's going to remain Jays basketball. Jays will have this one under the hoop. 109 left to go in the first half. Coach Shecker will join us here at halftime. Teal with it in the paint. Spins to his left. Spins back. Off the side iron. No good. Off of Teal. Out of bounds. Will go over to the Knights. Dylan Bosma inbound it to Waringa, back to Dylan Bosma. Bosma will bring it up over the timeline, just under a minute left to play here in the first half. Jay showing a bit of a 3-2 zone. Kicked around, far side, almost stolen away. Top of the key, Dylan Bosma, kicked left side, back to Bosma. Three, no good, rebound by Ryder. About a one and a half second difference. Shot clock to game clock as Kramer brings it up over the timeline. Looks like Coach Kellen willing to settle for a final shot. 20 seconds left to go. Hands it off to Nolan Teal. To Lubin. Lubin drives toward the basket. Kicks it out. Nolan Teal. Far side near the right left elbow. Three point attempt. Good by Landon Ryder. Landon now with nine, and it's 23 to 28. It's a five-point game. Jays are going to have it with 1.2 left to go. It's going to be a center court inbound with 1.2 left. See what the Jays are able to do on this. Nolan, the five count is on. Quickly in, three-tenths. This has got to be a quick tap up and in. I wonder if you kind of send... Ahrens toward the hoop for a quick tap in alley oop. That's what I saw for a second. It's going to be a no shot, even as the clock went off. 28 to 23 is your score at the end of the first quarter. We'll be back with Coach Shecker in one minute. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions. 
AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planter Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today to learn more about our large selection of new and used planters. AgriVision Equipment, focused on your future. Reliance means being dependable. And when it comes to comfort in your home, you want Reliance from a place you can trust with a product you can count on. That's why Marcus Lumber stocks Reliance brand water heaters. Because with Reliance in the name, it's the brand you can trust. Marcus Lumber has been stocking and installing Reliance water heaters for decades. So choose the name you trust for your home. Choose Marcus Lumber and Reliance water heaters. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling joined by Coach Brandon Shecker and his daughter's on his lap, and so it's a good night. And Coach, a not a senior-laden team in Unity Christian, but always a tough team, number, ranked number 14 in their class of basketball, and you guys gave them a heck of a fight here tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a 3A school that we went up against tonight. Try it now. Sorry about that. No problem. That's a that's a, a good 3A school we went up against tonight, and um, I, I felt the girls battled. Unfortunately, we uh, came up a little short on the offensive end in the first half, which kind of set us back. But uh, I just told the girls at the end, if we continue to play with that type of intensity on defense, um, I'm going to expect some good things out of them. We just got to get the the ball to fall through the hoop a little bit more. It was an eight point run there by the Knights in the uh, in the first half. They kind of separated but you had to be proud of the way that the girls fought back and it wasn't just one uh, especially when when uh, Walgenbach went went down with what looked like she might have re-aggravated that knee uh, again you don't have to expand on it but you had to be uh, happy with the way your team stepped up with her absence absolutely I mean Hallie comes in she gives us some offensive presence she gives us a lot of defensive presence especially rebounding so losing her early in that game uh, obviously didn't help things out but I was really happy with the rest of the girls stepping up, filling in for her, um, putting in some extra minutes that they normally want to put in, and, and they, they fought, I mean, especially on the defensive end. I, I'm very happy with our defensive side tonight. I seem to bring up the wrong person at the wrong time, so I'm going to go ahead and throw another one out there Perfect. anyway. Perfect, bring it up. <laughs> Kennedy Paulson had uh, her first home points as a varsity player here at Galen. And Who? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, KP... Uh, you know, she, uh, we gave her a varsity uniform right away. She practiced really hard in practice, did really good things in practice, and just hasn't been able to find her feet in games, uh, especially JV games, stuff along that lines. Um, but the last couple games, um, she, she's been putting forth the effort, finding those feet, if you, if you will. And so when we were shorthanded tonight, you know, uh, Coach Colbeck said, hey, why don't we give KP a shot? And I go, absolutely, let's go. And she, uh, she stepped up for us tonight and had a nice little, uh, nice little game for us. With, with that respect, this is her first first year here at Galen. So can you talk about, and, and I don't know if you really have much experience with a, uh, a freshman transferring in, can you talk about some of the difficulties uh, that presents just with not necessarily being around uh, the girls that have been around that have been around each other for as long as they have? Absolutely. It still takes a little bit for everybody to kind of fit in. But with our practices, all 17 that we have out uh, are, are always practicing together for the most part. So uh, it, I don't think it takes as long as maybe some other girls to get entwined and into things just because of that reason. So you got 17 in practice. And they're always going together. Um, now that we're, you know, three, four weeks in, it's uh, she, she's good to go. She's caught up. With that being said, a second week in a row of, of three games <laughs> in, in a week. And, and uh, I've got to imagine you got to be – kind of seeing some some more tired legs here as we yeah, uh, as we head into to play trinity that's the one nice thing is uh, you know I, i'm starting to play again consistently probably nine girls a night uh sometimes 10 um i have 11 suited right now um now with hallie out you know now we're down to 10 so yeah going into tomorrow night um <laughs> I, I hope i hope they did what i asked them to i hope they get home get some sleep tonight plenty of fluids stay hydrated because yeah i mean three games this week is is a lot um but 
that, that's part of the game. We got to bounce back. We got to be ready to go. And uh, you know, if we have to go ten deep tomorrow night, we'll go ten deep just to keep them fresh and keep them going. Tomorrow night, you have Trinity, and Trinity presented a couple of uh, challenges for you guys last year. Uh, I know there was an overtime game up there, and it was a, it was a close game down here. They did. Uh, you know that. They're, they're, they're fighters. They like to, they like to scrap, and, and uh, they, they kept us in games last year. And so we know that's probably going to be the same coming into this year. You know, they lost a few girls, but they bring back quite a crew. So we're, we're expecting a scrappy game uh, tomorrow night. And as long as the girls continue to bring the effort and attitude that they have the last two games, play that aggressive D like they did tonight, I, I see some good things happening for us tomorrow night. Coach, great effort by the girls tonight. Good luck tomorrow night, and we look forward to talking to you tomorrow night, hopefully after a Jays win. That'd be great. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it as always. We're going to take a one-minute timeout and be back after this. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions and Fuller Digital. Senior Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There is no other charitable gift that offers you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information about MLTF at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Please consider a gift to MLTF to give the gift of Catholic education education. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you as uh, you, you take a look at uh, there's some bowling, student bowling going on on the far side uh, between the two student sections. A rather enter, uh, entertaining game as we uh, take a look at the first half scores. Braden Bosma had to Travion Van Beek with three. Waringa leads all scores with 12. Colton Schmidt had eight. Emil Camp had two. Jackson Vogel started but did not record a basket. Trevor Teal had three. Dylan Lubin with two. Landon Ryder with eight. Nolan Teal with four. Carson Arns with three. And Dan Lehman. Dane Lehman with three. Of course, that was an impressive first half outing for these two teams. We will take a one-minute timeout. We'll be back to bring you second-half action. You're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call tonight. The Jays were unsuccessful in their attempt for a win in the girls game. The boys are attempting to not do the same, hoping to come out victorious on this one. The Jays ended that one on a 4-0 run, just a mini run. Again, if you're just tuning in, Kramer, or not Kramer, but rather Wilchin is not playing in this ball game. He is in street clothes here tonight. 
as he suffered a bit of an ankle injury in the game versus Akron on Monday night. So as the seconds tick down, you can see that on the clock, we appreciate Ag State Bank for bringing you tonight's scoreboard. That's in the lower left corner and the shot clock in the lower right corner. And tonight's bottom line is brought to you by Schuster Trucking. Local business here in Lamar's. Of course, all of our businesses that advertise on Fuller Digital Solutions are local to the area. So make sure you support our local advertisers as they are the ones that are bringing you all the action here tonight. Remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way you know whenever we go live, like we will tomorrow night as the Jays take on Trinity Christian. Good to see former head coach Mike Langle at the scorer's table, keeping book, I believe, for the Jays here tonight. Jackson Kramer will be the inbounder to get this second half started. Nolan Teal in between the circles, pass left to Kramer, back out to Teal. Nolan dribbles with a right hand near the baseline, poked away and stolen by Waringa. Waringa quickly ahead, kicks left, Dylan Bosma, three, no good, rebound by Landon Ryder. Landon kicks it ahead to Carson Arns, hands it off to Jackson Kramer. Kramer brings it up over the timeline, seven and a half. Now wants to get it to Nolan Teal, bounces down low. Carson Arns puts up the shot off the, off the bottom of the backboard, no good. Rebounded by Braden Bosma. Brace, Bosma tries to go coast to coast, no good. Rebound by Trevor Teal. They're going to go the other way. Carson Arns puts up the layup, up and in. Carson Arns now with five. He now has five, and the Jays have 25 as Waringo was fouled down low. Jays still on a bit of a run. Arns with his second. And all of a sudden, Waringa to the line to shoot two. Waringa puts up the first, rattles around. No good. Gets ready for the second. Waringa puts up the second, knocks the second one down. He now has 13. The run has been broken by the Jays just a little bit. It's 29-25, 7.02 left to go here in the third quarter. Kramer trying to get it up over the timeline, does at 28 on the shot clock. Trevor Teal with it now, with a left hand, stops, backs up near the arc. Now beyond the arc, Jackson Kramer with 15 on the shot clock. Kramer with a right hand, backs up beyond the arc, gets it down low, Carson Arns puts up the shot up and in. Looks like the Jays' plan is to get Carson Arns more physical, and it's 27-29 in favor of the Knights. Three-point attempt, Braden Bosma off the iron, no good rebound by Kramer. Kramer will bring it up the floor himself. Of course, he had that knee, uh, knee surgery, so he's wearing the knee brace there. <coughs> Landon Ryder with it now. Ryder in the far corner, out to Carson Arns, 20 left on the shot clock. Landon Ryder out to Nolan Teal. Top of the key, stops. Holding on to his dribble, Kramer with it now. Closer to the center circle, dribbles right. Between the legs dribble now, advancing, and he is called for carrying the basketball. 5.54 left to go here in the third. It's a two-point ball game. Appreciate Coach Shecker joining us here to talk about the girls game. You know it did not go his way. We appreciate the time nonetheless. Far corner is Vogel. Dribbles out. Braden Bosma. Braden near the baseline to Vogel. Gets it out to Dylan Bosma. Who's begging for it. Now Braden squares up a three off the strap. No good. And it's going to be a turnover. 526 left to go here in the third. It's still a two-point ball game, and the Jays have done a nice job of reeling this one back in. Jays able to get it up over the line. Three-point attempt knocked down by Trevor Teal. He now has six on the night and giving the Jays their first lead of the ball game. Out 
out near the center circle is Braden Bosma into the near corner. Dylan Bosma back out to Braden, top of the key in the lane, jumps, stops, pops, locks, and drops. Braden Bosma now with four. He has 31, or it's 31-30 uh, is the score rather. Landon Ryder brings it up over the timeline, just over the logo. Nolan Teal with it, drives right side of the lane, stops, puts up a shot, and he is fouled in the act of shooting. He'll go to the line to shoot two, and Jackson Vogel picks up his second. Team's first of this third quarter, Vogel's second. Like I said, it'll send Nolan Teal to the line. Puts up the first and knocks it down. Nolan now with five. 31-31. Puts up the second, knocks it down. Nolan Teal with six big points here. Dylan Bosma brings it up over the timeline with a right hand, now with the left, drives left side of the paint, kicks it out, left side, drives the baseline, no good, rebound by Carson Arns. Jackson Kramer up over the timeline, Landon Ryder with it now, far side. Landon to Carson Arns, foot just inside the arc at the top of the key, dribbles right, Landon, no good, rebound by Dylan Bosma. Dylan quickly brings it up over the timeline with a right hand, Bounce pass, now on the near side, Smith, Smith with it again, three, no good, rebound, fought for, poked at, it's going to be remain Knights basketball, and we're going to see three subs come in, we're going to see Lehman, and we're going to see Langle, 34 Langle, and we will see Papama come into the ball game. To the bench goes Vogel and Kramer and Ryder. Officials quickly talked about the shot clock, decided it was okay. Braden ba Bauma, sorry, Bosma, poked out of bounds. Remain Knights basketball on the far side. Bosma looking to get it inbounded. Gets it into Braden Bosma. Dylan was the inbounder. Braden jumps toward the Hoop, and we're going to have a foul, and I believe it's going to be on Arns. That'll be Arns third with 3.37 left to go here in the third quarter. Thanks to Ag State for bringing you tonight's scoreboard. Lower left in the shot clock and the lower right. Suster trucking, and the first free throw is up and no good. Braden Bosma will get one more. Second free throw attempt is up and good for Braden Bosma. And we are going to have a full timeout. Full timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them back in 60 on Fuller Digital Solutions and fullerdigital.net. Catholic in Lamars, Iowa instills respect and Christian values in a caring environment for students preschool through 12th grade. Teachers and staff go above and beyond to provide a high quality education and are dedicated to student success. We are a community striving to live God's word each day through academic service opportunities, athletics, and so much more. Galen Catholic School, in partnership with Spalding Catholic School, all are welcome to experience excellence in education and leadership through Christ. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on tonight's call. Floor Digital Solutions and FloorDigital.net. 3.37 left to go in the third quarter tie ball game. Knights were up by as many as eight in this ball game. As 34 Langle inbounds it to Nolan Teal. Now to Lehman. Lehman spinning, poked away, and picked up 
by Emelkan or um, by by Papama rather. Braden Bauma, Basma, Papama puts up the shot, no good. Under the hoop, fought for, and we're going to have a foul. And if that's Carson Arns, that's his fourth. It's a third team foul. They're going to call that one on Aiden Langle. That's his first. No foul trouble there. First shot is up. Swish. By Waringa. That's his 14th point. Second free throw attempt is up. Off the front iron, no good. Rebound by Arns. Kramer will bring this one up the floor. Jays trail by one. Kramer pushes right to 34, Langle. Langle pushes left. To Trevor Teal. Trevor, top of the key, drives right side of the paint. Kicks it over. I think it should have been a travel. They're saying he's juggling the ball. Trevor puts up the three off the iron. No good. Rebound by Popma. Jackson Popma pushes it up to Dylan Bosma. Dylan over to Braden Bosma. Back to Dylan. Top of the key. Braden Bosma dribbles with the right hand. Now with the left. Poked away. Trevor Teal. He poked it away. He's going to get the layup up and in. Trevor Teal. He now has eight. It's 34-33. And you have a feeling this one's going to go down to the wire between these two teams. Braden Bosma spinning at the free throw line under the hoop. And Dane Lehman commits his third foul. It's going to send Waringa to the line to shoot two. Fourth team foul. First one is up, rattles around and out, no good. Second free throw attempt. For Waringa is up, and that one's in. So Waringa now with 15, and it's a tie ball game at 34. Back and forth here in this third quarter. 34, Langle inbounds it to Kramer. Back to Langle. Langle need a little bit of help, and we're going to get a... I'm not sure what the call is here. We're going to a sideline inbound. We're going to get a kick ball in the backcourt. I'm not quite sure what the call, the call was. We're tied at 34. 2.04 left to go in the third. Long cross court pass into Kramer. Kramer near the boundary. And we're going to get a foul on Wren. Sorry, Wrens. That's his first. It's going to be the team's second. 34 Langle will be the inbounder. Again, I'm using jersey number with the last name because there are two Aiden Langles on the Galen team. Trevor Teal receives the inbound, hands it off to Langle. Kramer stops near the top of the key, pushes left. Now to Nolan Teal, Trevor Teal. Trevor stops, left side of the paint, three-point attempt. Kramer knocks it down. Jackson Kramer with his first points of the ball game, and the Jays take the lead 37 to 34. Van Beek, cross court pass, three. Dylan Bosma, no good. Fought for, picked up by Emil Camp. Top of the key, Van Beek, Renz. Van Beek, far corner, or near corner, Dylan Bosma. Closely guarded. Van Beek with 20 on the shot clock. Shot, no good. Rebound, Carson Arms, and he is fouled by Emil Camp. Emil Camp committed the foul. We're going to get Nolan Teal in for Carson Arns, and we're going to get 
Landon Ryder in for Trevor Teal. Jackson Kramer will be the inbounder. Knights showing pressure. Nolan Teal tries to dribble out, not able to. Stolen away in the paint and Nolan commits the foul. Nolan Teal picks up his second, it's the team's fifth. Fifty-five point three left to go. Jays up by three. As Papama, the line knocks down his first. That's his second point of the night. Thirty-seven, thirty-five. Second free throw attempt is up and good. Full court press still on. Nolan over to Kramer. Kramer gets it over the timeline. Right in front of the Jays bench and a timeout. And we're gonna take a 30 second timeout back in 30. You're watching Jays and Knights on Flow Digital Solutions and flowdigital.net. AgriVision Equipment has you covered with a wide selection of John Deere tractors in the area. Our experts can help match you with the right equipment at the right price. Utilize one of our convenient pre-built packages or build and customize your own with our JD Buy Online site. Need financing? No problem. Apply online in five minutes or less. Our team is ready to find the package for you. Don't settle for less. Shop in-store or online at agrivisionequipment.com. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you tonight. Appreciate you tuning in wherever you might be tuning in. Jackson Kramer will be the inbounder here for the Jays. Inbounds to Nolan Teal. Nolan up the right side. Cross court pass to Langle. Langle, top of the key, 35 left, 15 on the shot clock. Ryder with 10 on the shot clock, gets it out to Nolan Teal, drives side of the baseline, tries to get it down to Lehman, Pope up off the backboard, and he is gonna be fouled, and that's Cole Renz picks up his second foul. It's gonna send Lehman to the line with 25.1 left. Jays with a one point lead. Puts up the first. In and out, and out, no good. 24, Langle is waiting to come in for Lehman. A flurry of Knights coming into the ball game. Second free throw attempt from Lehman is up, and no good. 24 seconds left, and Dylan Bosma brings it up over the timeline. Cross court pass to Van Beek, back to Bosma. Dylan Bosma, they're settling for one, calling the play with 10 seconds left. Dylan Bosma, back over to Smith, back to Dylan Bosma. Three, no good. Rebound by Landon Ryder, and Nolan Teal wings it at the basket. No good. The Jays are in the lead after three, 37 to 36. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions and fullerdigital.net. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. 
Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you. Appreciate Ag State and for bringing us the scoreboard in the lower left corner. Shot clock lower right. Schuster Trucking for bringing you tonight's bottom line. Waringa with it now. Top of the key is Van Beek. Braden Bosma dribbles right side, or sorry, left side. Now top of the key is Van Beek. 19 on the shot clock. Braden Bosma stops at the free throw line, puts up a shot, no good, rebound by Trevor Teal. Kind of just put that right in his bicep and came down with it. Kicks it right to Landon Ryder. Now top of the key, Teal, back to Ryder. Down low, Arms, and we are going to have a jump ball. It's gonna remain Jays basketball with 7.23 left to go in the fourth. Trevor Teal, the inbounder, gets it out to Langle in the far corner, 24 Langle. Top of the key, Trevor Teal, Trevor to Langle. Only one Langle in right now as Carson Arnes stops right side of the lane from 10, no good. Rebound and bring it ahead as Austin Moringa tries to go coast to coast, lowers his shoulder into Aiden Langle and Aiden picks up the foul. Braden inbounds the basketball to Vogel. Vogel to the top of the key, stops inside, just up by the free throw line. Hands off to Van Beek. Van Beek in between the circles, 19 on the shot clock. Out to Braden Bosma, back to Van Beek. Now Waringa. Aliyup missed the flush initially and then it fell for him, did Braden Bosma. 37-38, Knights with the lead. Nolan Teal brings it up the floor, pushes off just a little bit, and we're gonna get a foul. It's gonna be the first team foul, and it's gonna be the third on Van Beek. Knights on a three-point run. Inbound to Teal. Teal drives, loses the ball to Waringa. Waringa's going to kick it left. Thought about a three-point attempt. Instead, stolen again by Nolan Teal. Nolan brings it up over the timeline, slows it up. Carson Arns passes left, further left. Langle, Langle puts up the shot, and that one's blocked. Blocked by Vogel, and up the floor comes Braden Bosma. Braden Bosma tries to go coast to coast. And we're going to get a foul on Trevor Teal. That's going to be his second. It's going to be the team's second of the fourth quarter. It's going to be on the floor. 6-0-1, Jays trail by one. Moringa, the inbounder. I'm sorry, Bosma, the inbounder, gets it into Braden Bosma. Three-point, no good. Rebound by Smith. Quickly down, thrown up in the air. Aiden Langle tried to get it, and it's going to remain Knights basketball with 27 left on the shot clock. Jackson Kramer is going to come back into the ball game. He is going to come in for 24 Langle. 34 Langle is going to come in for Nolan Teal. So if you got that, Langle for Langle came in. Inbound, Austin Waringa, corner, three, Smith, no good, put back, in for Braden Bosma. He now has nine, extends the lead to 41 to 37. Knights on a 6-0 run. Dates back to the last quarter. Floater in. going to be out of bounds. It's going to remain nice basketball. Knights basketball on the boundary. 
Inbounder Waringa gets it into Bosma. Bosma in between the circles, dribbles left. Tightly guarded. And Jackson Kramer picks up the foul. Uh, guarding Vogel. All the way out beyond the three-point arc. Knights are going to get a sideline inbound. Moringa is going to be the inbounder with 5.09 left here in the fourth. <clears throat> Knights call the play. Dylan Bosma dribbles right near the logo. Gets it in the paint. Waringa corner, three, Vogel, no good. Airballed it. Rebound by Van Beek. Jays can't keep giving up these rebounds. Cross-court pass, three-point attempt. Waringa, good. Austin Waringa with 18. It's going to be 43-39 as the Nets here keep getting hung up in the rim. Must be how pure the ball is falling through the hoop here tonight. Lehman will bring it up over the timeline. Almost pickpocket it over to 24 lane. Th sorry, 34 Langle. Down low, Lehman, and we have a kick ball. Kick ball by Jackson Vogel. 4.35 left to go. Jays trail this one by four. 34 Langle will be the inbounder. Again, two Aiden Langles, so I'm going jersey number last name for them. Inbound to Kramer. Near side, gets it down low to Lehman. Dribbles, stolen away. Picked his pocket, did Smith. Ahead to Dylan Bosma. Corner, Van Beek. Backed out to Dylan Bosma. Down low, Waringa puts up the shot. No good. Rebound, fought for, and Lehman comes away with it. Nolan Teal brings it up over the timeline. Kicks it right to Kramer. Kramer, shot fake. Back out to Nolan Teal. Back to Kramer, and we're going to have a foul down low. It's going to be off the ball, and it's going to be on Dylan Bosma. It's his first. It's the team's second. So a foul on the floor, and we're going to have a timeout. Full timeout on the floor. We'll take it with them. Back in 60, you're watching Jays and Knights on Fuller Digital Solutions and FullerDigital.net. Catholic in Lamars, Iowa instills respect and Christian values in a caring environment for students preschool through 12th grade. Teachers and staff go above and beyond to provide a high quality education and are dedicated to student success. We are a community striving to live God's word each day through academic service opportunities, athletics, and so much more. Galen Catholic School, in partnership with Spalding Catholic School, all are welcome to experience excellence in education and leadership through Christ. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you tonight. Appreciate you watching wherever you might be here on Flow Digital Solutions and Flow Digital Not Net. We'll be live again tomorrow as Galen takes on Trinity. Ball inbounded to Carson Arns. Nolan Teal spinning in the paint. Gets it over to Lehman. Lehman, that one's blocked. Picked up by Waringa. Van Beek ahead. Now Dylan Bosma. Corner. Thought about a three. Did Papama as Dylan Bosma brings it out to, uh, top of the key. Into the near corner is Van Beek. Back out to Dylan Bosma. Dylan, far corner, Waringa, three, good! Austin Waringa now with 21, and another timeout for the Jays. It's 46 to 39. Back in 30 on Fuller Digital Solutions in fullerdigital.net. 
Marcus Lumber's showroom offers you an experience like no other. So when you're thinking of replacing your windows, Marcus Lumber is sure to help add clarity for the decision best fit for your home. Featuring Thermotech Premium Windows, they will show you quality, energy-efficient options. Made in the Upper Midwest, Thermotech knows a thing or two about the temperature extremes that we face. So expect more energy savings, more beauty, and more comfort with Marcus Lumber and Thermotech Windows. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you on the call tonight. 33-36 left to go in the ball game. 46-39, Jays trail by six. Ball inbounded to Nolan Teal. Nolan across the timeline with a left hand. Stops at the three-point line. Kramer, top of the key. Backs up, hands off to Nolan Teal. He is now near the top of the key. Left side of the free throw line. Cross court, Kramer, and we're going to have a hold by 33. Jackson Papama, he was holding Carson Arns, who was trying to get a backdoor cut. 319 left to go. We will see Langle go out. 34 Langle goes out and, and back into the ball game comes Landon Ryder. Kramer inbounds to Lehman, puts up the quick shot. I'm not even sure he grabbed that with two hands. He just grabbed that kind of with palm that with one hand and it's 46-41. Three point attempt, no good. Rebound by Carson Arns. Arns closely guarded, gets it over to Kramer. Kramer bringing it up over the time, well, close to over the timeline. Arns told him to go. He almost had a 10 count on him. Kramer hands it off to Ryder. Back to Kramer with 16 left on the shot clock. Poked away momentarily. Nolan Teal and Nolan kind of got, yep, he got rolled up. His ankle got rolled up on. That's going to be the second for Dylan Bosma. It's the fourth team foul, and it's going to be a sideline inbound. Hopefully, he was limping a little bit there, still kind of grabbing at that ankle right now, is Nolan Teal. Inbounded to Lubin, really in the corner. Bounce pass to, to Landon Ryder, and he is fouled. That's the fifth team foul, so that's going to be shooting, and it's the fourth foul for Travion Van Beek. Or sorry, Traven Van Beek. Ryder at the line, shooting two. Puts up the first, knocks it down. Ryder now with nine. 42-46. Second free throw attempt. For Ryder is up off the back iron, no good. Rebounded by Dylan Bosma. Ahead to Waringa, back to Dylan Bosma, gets it down low, out to Waringa, down low. Vogel, Dylan Bosma. Cross court. 18 on the clock, 2.20 left on the game clock. Dylan Bosma with it now. Corner, three, Smith, no good. Rebound, Waringa. It's going to be out of bounds, off the Knights. Jays basketball. 2.02 left to go. It's a four point ball game. And Nolan Teal will inbound. Nope, now Dylan Lubin's back there. Lubin, the inbounder. Tries to get it into Teal. It's going to be out of bounds off of Smith and will remain Jays basketball. 2-0-1 left to go here in the fourth. Lubin inbounding. Bounce pass into to Nolan Teal. Cross court to Lubin. Lubin brings it up over the timeline with a right hand. On the logo, Lehman just inside the top of the arc. Dribbles right. Now hand off to Lubin with it. Nolan Teal, free throw line, depth, jumper is down. Nolan Teal with eight, it's 44-46 in favor of the Knights. 
135 left to go in the game in the student section trying to make some noise. Dylan Bosma backs up near the timeline. Pass out to Braden Bosma. 123 left to go, 18 on the shot clock. Braden over to Dylan. Dylan, three, knocks it down. Dylan Bosma with the three, and we've got a timeout. 30 second timeout. We'll take it with them back in 30 on Fuller Digital Solutions and Fuller Digital. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling with you here tonight. Appreciate Ag State bringing us tonight's scoreboard and shot clock and Schuster Trucking for tonight's bottom line. Jays trail this one by three. Each team with two timeouts left. Jays are in the bonus. Have only committed three fouls this quarter. Inbound to Lehman. Lehman, hand off to Lubin in the backcourt. Chris crosses, now ahead to Teal over the timeline, back to Lubin, top of the key, dribbles with left hand, left side of the paint, stops, wants to get it out to Ryder, now down low, Lehman spins, puts up the shot, no good, fought for, quickly ahead is Dylan Bosma. Dylan Bosma spinning, backs up, 53 left to play, 28 on the shot clock, Dylan Bosma to Waringa, Waringa, top of the key, and we're going to get a foul by Landon Ryder. That's going to be his second. It's going to be the team's fourth. Resets the shot clock. 44.4 left to go. 44.4 left in the game. Five-point game. Lehman goes out. Lubin goes out. Kramer comes in. I'm not sure who else came in. I wasn't looking close enough. Van Beek goes out of the ball game also. In to Dylan Bosma. Dylan dribbles between two defenders. Out to Renz. Three point. Dylan Bosma. No good. Rebound by Carson Arns. Jays need to move quickly. No more shot clock. Nolan Teal looking to hand it off. Gives it to Landon Ryder. Three. No good. Rebound by Vogel. Carson Arns will pick up the foul. He picks up his fourth, and it is now bonus time for the Knights. 49-44 the score as Vogel will go to the line to shoot two. Vogel puts up the first off the back iron, no good. Vogel will get one more. Puts up the second, knocks it down. He now has one point on the game. Kramer brings it up. It's going to be a blocking foul on the boundary by Austin Moringa. That's his second. Coach is not necessarily agreeing with it. It is bonus. Jays have a chance to drop this down to a four-point lead. Kramer at the line. Puts up the first, knocks it down. He now has four. Five-point ball game. Puts up the second, rattles around and out, no good. Rebound by Dylan Bosma. 13 left. Nolan Teal looks like he's in a bit of pain here as Trevor Teal commits the third foul and Nolan's gonna go out. <clears throat> Aiden Langle's gonna come in 
Looks like he kind of hurt his back that time going up. Between the ankle and the back there. First one is up and in for Dylan Bosma. He now has four. It's 51-45 with eight seconds left to go in the ball game. Second one is up and in. Over the timeline, four seconds left. Three pointer, no good, rebound. And 45 to 52. Unity Christian comes out with the win. We'll be back in 60 seconds to wrap it up. You're watching Jays and Knights on Four Digital Solutions. Senior Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There is no other charitable gift that offers you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information about MLTF at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Please consider a gift to MLTF to give the gift of Catholic education. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Welcome back to the Deb Campbell Memorial Gym. Matt Schilling here with you as the Jays are double losers here tonight. Lost the second game 52 to 45. Scoring looked like this. Braden Bosma had nine. Dylan Bosma with five. Van Beek had three. Waringo with the Team high and court high of 21. Colton Smith with eight. Emil Camp with two. Papama with three. And Vogel with one. For the Jays, Trevor Teal with nine. Dylan Lubin with two. Jackson Kramer with four. Ryder with nine. Nolan Teal with eight. And it'll be interesting to see what happens with the ankle and the back that he seemed to suffer an injury with. Carson Arns with seven. And Dane Lehman with, seven, with six. Hopefully we will see the Jays come back triumphantly tomorrow against Trinity Christian. Also hope to see Gabe Wilchin come back tomorrow. As we wrap this one up, it's a final. We'll be back tomorrow night, 6 o'clock tip time. You've been watching Fuller Digital Solutions and fullerdigital.net.